Izzy, Umbral, Kozak, Huma. Thank you all for the camp, you little cuties. Butterbro, no! <laughs> Butterbro, also welcome to the stream. Hope you're also doing goody. Hope everybody's doing well. And just gotta start immediately with one, two, three. Thank you for the head pats. Four, five. Welcome, Anna, as well. Hope, hope everybody's doing goody. Everybody's having a good Thursday. And Izzy, you little shit. You adorable little fuck. Just you fucking remember. Mm -hmm, little cute bitch. Huh? Is that I fucking love you, bitch? Mwah. Adorable little shit. Cute little fucker. Little shit boy, little bitch boy. Mwah. Motherfucker. If I don't get... A purple or gold with this single pull, I'll fucking kick your ass. You adorable little fuck. Little shit. Now bring that ass over here. I'll fucking I'll beat the fuck out of you, little cute bitch. Because I love you, bitch. And I never will stop loving you. Bitch. <laughs> but how you doing? How's everybody doing? How's everybody's days going? Hopefully, y'all do it all right. Y'all having a goody day. <sighs> Man. I went to bed at like 1 a.m., right? Not because I wanted to stay up late. It's just... Couldn't fall asleep. Just just one of those days, you know? It, it, it happens, right? And then, and then I woke up at like 8 a.m. And I'm just sitting here like, bruh. Why? <laughs> My body. Why you gotta do this to me, man? Why, how hey, could this that? happen to me? I made my mistake. <laughs> and Izzy, mwah. Come on, Izzy. Ah. Little pat. Mwah. <laughs> there you go, baby. Mwah. Oh, I haven't even cooked my 20 dishes. Time to make 20 plates of chimki. Uh, also, how much resin do I have? I don't think I checked my resin. Please tell me I'm not a cap. Oh, okay. I'm a little close, but you know, we we're, 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 <laughs> I've still got, I've still got space. I've still got space. We're still fine. We're still fine. We're still fine. I'm over worrying, overthinking it. We're a-okay. Just make some chimki. Playing fast and is a little scared little raccoon. And whose fault is that? <laughs> Playing phasmophobia. <laughs> it's almost like, I, naruhodo, naruhodo ne. The consequences of your fucking actions. You adorable little shit. <laughs> what do you mean mine? What do you mean? How's that, how's that, how's that my fault? What is this? What is this bullshit, man? I don't know what you're talking about, all right? Ain't no universe. Is it my fault, all right? That's a load of bullshit. Se semantics, this motherfucker. <laughs> this little shit, I swear to fucking God. Bruh. Bruh. Ah, oh, I fucked up the bunny hop. I got a real good amount of distance after I lost stamina, even without the, uh, uh, e e even without it all, though. So it's, it's all right. Eat. 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 Hey, gun you go brr. Gun you damages. Gun you damage. Gun you damage. <laughs> Does it make sense to be able to do over 50k from halfway across the map? No. Does it matter? Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't be allowed to do that. <laughs> just, just, just maybe that uh, 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 they shouldn't have allowed that. And just maybe it shouldn't also have AoE. 
Well, you know what? <laughs> Here we are. Are any of Ganyu's constellations even, like, worth my time in the future, right? Um, decrease cryo resistance. Ooh! And regenerate some energy. Ooh! Not, like... Not, like, mind-blowing and not absolutely necessary. But that's neat. I actually forgot that uh, her Constellation 1 is pretty good. Like, I'm actually surprised at how good her Constellation 1 is. It's certainly not, like... <laughs> Like, like a game changer, like Hu Tao Con one or anything like that, but that's not bad. That's pretty good. -y. Hey, I got the key, baby. <laughs> Turn the key into Wyatt. I just want me primos. Just give me my primos, Wyatt. I don't even know, like, who Wyatt is in, like, the, the lore. I think he's technically, like, a guy that works at the winery that helps deliver the wine. But, like, also... Uh... Uh... He, I think he's, like, an NPC that literally exists specifically for the sake of commissions and, like, nothing else. I don't think he has any purpose outside of the... Specifically, specifically the commissions. Why does he exist? For for what reason? Is so is Baba Boy and Satoshi Ma Yahoo? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, baby? Welcome, welcome. Like I understand, right? If like I I went and did like a world quest where I helped like set up like something with the winery or like you know help the winery through like you know like a like a like a weird troublesome pact or two. I I could understand that. I could get behind that, right? Stabilize. But that's that's not the case, you know? Transfiguration. Let's play. Access denied. Fair and balanced Ganyu gameplay. Fair, fair and balanced. Oh, uh, also, while I'm here, might as well equip a sea dispensary. Pick up some kala lilies. I'm right here. Might as well get the seeds. Cross, how could you be two minutes late? That ain't on time. What do you mean? I started stream like one o'clock on the dot. I, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. Also lonely. Yahoo. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing goody. How are you? Like, the announcements might have come out a little bit later than the actual stream start, but the stream started promptly at one. Alright. I did my job. Gather. Brace yourself. Born of ice and frost. I did my job, and you cannot tell me otherwise. We're way behind schedule. Those guys are dead, so we should be fine now, right? Just watch, they're both dead. The air current's gone. Body it still you. rises to the sky. And then it's gonna come back down immediately because the, the, the guys are dead. Like, yeah, why? I've already eliminated the problem. Why you gotta, why you gotta make it my issue? Nobody asked for that. Ah, yo! He hit me. Wait. I didn't take any damage. I didn't get to dash back. So, I'm confused. What happened? Did, did I... Did I manage to retreat in time? Did I kill him before he hit me? Or did I kill him and the animation for him hitting me still go off, but because he was already dead, I didn't take any damage? I, I, I desire... I desire the fruit of this forbidden knowledge, Mahalia. You can't leave it off at that and not explain to me what the fuck happened. That's 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 illegal. That's illegal. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Can I spread it? No. Yes, but also no. 
I don't, I, the, the thing, oh, Shiva Shale. Mwah, welcome to the stream. How you doing, cutie? Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. Also, fuck you. <laughs> One. Because those are little dendro thorn barriers, right? Two. Which are, for right now, native only to Mondstadt, which is weird. Three. But Sumeru's gonna come around soon. Four. Like, soon in the relative. Five. Right? And so, is that gonna be an issue in Sumeru? Are we just gonna be, like, exploring around? And then we get stopped at, like, <laughs> every opportunity by a shit ton of fucking thorns? Is Pyro just gonna be the new, like, new exploration tool all over again? Say it ain't so. Say, say it ain't so. I'm actually worried about the. Hold up. The amount of Mora we got. 6969. Six, ah, uh, hmm. Why, though? Why, though? <laughs> when are you going to try cross code? I don't know. I'm curious about it. I'm just not, like, super interested in cross code. It's, uh... Its story looks... In its story actually looks like it, 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 it would be interesting to me personally. But everything else about it, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. The, the, the combat as well, uh, the combat doesn't really appeal to me at all. Not 6969420 though, so shame on you. Look, that's such a random, that, like, that that's like, uh, more manipulation like that is, it's so difficult. I don't know how anybody would do that. It requires on so much RNG. <laughs> Uh, um, Satoshi, I bought some new nail polish and a new choker today. Nice. Got some more work done yesterday. That's something. That's good. That's good. Otherwise, have an uneventful day, really. How are you, Cross? I'm doing goody. I'm doing goody. I'm glad that it's, uh, it's not stressful, you know? I will take uneventful, then stressful. I, I think that's always an upgrade. Um, and isn't Knockout City that, um... My will embodied. Uh, your that what's McCall? Here we go. Isn't Think Knockout City away. that uh dodgeball game? Brace yourself. I I remember actually being kind of curious to try that, but I didn't know where or how to get it, and I was too lazy to find out. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> Let me rant a little bit before something else. That parry event Mahoyoverse has for this event. I don't know if I did it raw or if it's parries or if it's different on its PC, but it's just not to my liking. That's understandable. I think, um, like, like it, it's the same in like Elden Ring, for example. Some people prefer blocking. Some people prefer parrying. Like, it, it just comes down to what you yourself find more fun. I think that's an important like distinction. Um, it is what it is. Difficult for memers. Is, wait, no, I already. Uh, it goes free this June. Also, it's publishing itself now. It can become free now, so no more EA. Well, that's good. I don't understand how Electronic Arts can get its ugly mix to literally everything. It actually drives me crazy how Electronic Arts have their thumbs up everyone's asses. How is that even rem remotely possible? But every time I, I I look at EA, somehow they they found a way to to wiggle themselves in to someone's ass. I I don't know how they do it. Every single time, I, I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't know I don't know it it, it uh, EA EA is a uh, EA is a is is a is a, is a Profitable, sure, but dumpster fire of a company. I don't know why people keep giving them their money. I, I don't, like, okay, look. I can understand being into sports, right? Like Madden and, 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 and FIFA. But, like... Stabilize. Um, but Do I, I don't see how, like, I, I don't see how the, the EA games are any fun. I, I just don't see it. <laughs> 
I don't. I, I wonder if it's me. Is it, it maybe? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. But like, I I I don't I don't get it. Um. I I, I just don't get it. Uh. Bye -bye. I'll go to Sekiro and test that if it was rusty or just that Hoyova Ho should have put Perry button and R2 for PS4, PS5 controllers. That's that's possible too. That's possible too. You'll get used to the fighting style of crosscode very fast. It's very, pretty much 2D Genshin. You mostly try to dodge enemy attack. There's also the ability to block oh, and even perfect block. Oh, that's neat. Um, that, that's like cool conceptually, but uh, also, as you might have noticed, I own a Zong Li. Um, the initial appeal of the combat uh, is no longer about skillful dodge management anymore. All right, the Take only thing form. that gets rustles my, my jimmies Sivan. anymore is uh, uh, as far as Genshin that. combat goes, is big PP damage. So it, it, that is that is that is a positive note, but also um, uh, <laughs> that, that doesn't appeal to me as much as it should. Uh, <laughs> Which is kind of that's a, that's a me problem. That, 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 I I hundred percent admit that, that, that that's a me problem. I've spoiled myself with Dong Lee, you know, and Gorsh Juniper. I guess, I guess you are my little. Uh, I guess you are my little goof champ. I guess. Now come here. Mwah. <laughs> but how you doing, Juniper? Mwah. Hope you're doing goody. Hope you're doing well. How are you? How are you? Mwah. I own a Zongli, sure. Wonder when they'll add a boss that uses corrosive damage. Okay, okay. I still stand by the fact that corrosion is a shield buff. I know, I know that it's supposed to counter shields and make healers more viable. And it does. But I still think it's a shield buff. Why? Because if you have a shield, you do not take the initial burst damage hit. And then also get dotted at the same time. You only get punished one way. Everybody else. Everybody else. Ooh, bonus. Everybody else has to do deal with the bullshit of, of getting uh, of, of, of getting um, damaged and dotted and knocked back and potentially chain CC shields. Shield, it, it, it's, 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 uh, it, 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 it makes things challenging for shields, but it's still, it's still a shield buff. I stand by that. I got C1 Ayaro last night. Yo, let's go. And his sword and C1, best luck I've ever had. Hey, Poggies. I can't play him just because, uh, the, the attack animation sound of his grates my ears, but he looks really fun. He does look really fun. You know that they can just make the damage fully corrosive, aka to have the burst damage deal damage to your health instead of shield if shielding gets out of hand? They can, but then no one would play their game. If, if, okay. If, if anything went directly through your shield, ignored your shield. So you take the hit and then take other repercussive damages? No one would pluck, fucking play Genshin anymore. No one. Why? Why would? Why would you? Because literal, literally, literally, the game is just gonna make mechanics. The game is gonna, that just proves that Genshin's gonna make mechanics, and then just say fuck you, thanks for your money, nerd. No one's gonna. No one's gonna play that. That's not an argument. Sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> no one's gonna do that. Like, look, 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 look. Like, them trying to, um, them trying to deal with, uh, how powerful shields are, are one thing. Them actually, them actually taking such a hard line measure like that is something entirely different. It, it, it is entirely different. And maybe in the overworld, it might be a problem. But genuinely, in the abyss, I don't think corrosion is that much of an issue. As long as you have a character capable, even like a modicum amount of healing, like for example, you have Hu Tao as your main DPS, right? She can heal herself. Everybody else is only out long enough to like pop a skill and get the fuck out. Uh, you'll be fine. I I I really don't see it being an issue. I I, I like corrosion sucks. Don't get me wrong. It, it's like actually the worst. The fact that like it stacks infinitely. The fact that it stacks infinitely is I think the worst part. 
right? It should never stack infinitely, A. And B, um, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take you down to 15% health. And frankly, it shouldn't be percent health damage either. The fact that it stacks infinitely and is percent health damage is the biggest load of bullshit. I don't know who okayed that. But oh, holy crap. What an asshole. What 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 a, what an actual sack of shit. Whoever designed corrosion should be fired, kind of. Okay, so we're looking for a rock background in water, bunch of lily stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So, lilies, rock. Uh, check the photo. What? No, that's not what. It... We're not on that floral theme anymore. Okay, hold on, hold on. Save, back out. I thought we weren't on that floral theme anymore. Why is it showing me the previous floral theme? Oh, I also need to do this, that side quest. Um, give me a second. The f ah! Oh, I need to do it on the one next to it. Oh my god. So, let me guess. The, oh, so it's like a multiple pot situation. Ah, oh, what the f- oh, That's frustrating in its own way. Alright. Uh, I think some of them are supposed to be left empty. Um, front center, on the other hand, is probably this, but medium? No, that makes it too small. Um, so it says tall, medium, short, but it's more like small, medium, large. I don't understand. I, I, I genuinely don't get this event. Front right. Yeah, front right. Pale blush. Small. Just make it tiny. Right? Um, back left, a water lily. Oh, wait. Is that a front left water lily? It is. It is a front left water lily. This is... This is... That's not even a lily! That's a lotus root! And now they've already given me the explanation and how to do it. I, what's even the point of this event? You literally can't click through it fast enough to try and figure, even figure it out on your own. Medium tall pale blush. I, ah, my God. Oh, I'm still on the front left. Whoops. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. This, this, this event is like literally... This event is literally so dumb. Wait until next morning. This is like actually the worst part of the event. It's so... It's so dumb. Um, no, yeah. the the thing that pisses me more off about corrosion is that corrosion ignores your iframes, as in corrosion still applies even if you iframe it. So, uh, technically, if you dodge, um, you're you're not supposed to take corrosion. However, if it collides with your hitbox, even if you have invincibility frames, sometimes it applies even when you dodge it by dodging through it. And if you ult, if you use your elemental burst and, and therefore you're supposed to have invincibility frames, corrosion will guaranteed apply. You just don't take the initial damage, shield or not. Um... Boats uh, are made for I, 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 I don't, I don't understand it. 
like uh, the, 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 the like the corrosion and wolf enemies conceptually super cool i'm actually like i know it might sound crazy but i'm actually really on board with corrosion thematically thematically it's it's supposed to be like a rep like you know like a, like a more immediate harsh representation of the concept of erosion right it's got a lot of lore implications and i'm fucking into that all right i'm so into that i can't even begin to describe it in words um i shouldn't be as into it as i am but i am all right uh but uh bubble boy the um i think this is short yeah it looks like a short um i i i shouldn't be as into it as i as, as i am but i am thematically thematically i'm completely on board with corrosion but i feel like mechanically it's dog awful it, it is like actually the worst thing in, in the fucking game because because it, it's it's made without fucking balancing they didn't balance check their own fucking corrosion mechanics and i don't know how i don't know how they got away with that um i was i'm literally trying to get through this as fast as possible to try and finish the the puzzle before they just spoil everything for me and i don't think i'm gonna mm, i almost made it in time almost made it in time no something's not right okay fuck ah i must have fucked up like one thing okay let's see front left um short uh-huh front center uh medium oh wait the the flower names are slightly different medium silhouette of the winds revelry no i i got the flower right i did get the flower right oh the first one is uh promise of blue skies they look exactly the same what do you fucking want from me they look literally the same come the fuck on no still what am i getting wrong back left medium height sunset of There we go. I, I mixed up three flowers, but all the size all the sizes I figured out on my own. So that's that's something, I guess. That's something. Um I wonder if characters can die in the middle of the animation due to corrosion though. No, it's okay. The one thing that animate like invincibility frames still have going for it is that um you don't physically take damage. Even though things can be applied to you, elements can be applied to you, corrosion can be applied to you, you yourself, while you're in the invincibility state, do not physically take damage. So you could have an infinite amount of corrosion stacks on you, but the moment you hit your burst, during that whole burst window, you don't take any damage. Which means, theoretically, um, if you time and position yourself well, you could use the longest ult in the game, Zongli, uh, which now technically I think Ayano actually has the longest ult in the game uh, Only by a uh, only by hair um, You can actually get corroded to time out more um, But uh, Zongli comes with um, a, a, a petrify so I think I think he is a bit more of a um, Easily uh, Easily uh, Baba Bui. Easily rectified situation. I don't know um and Erxy, Yahoo, welcome. How are you? How are you? Hope you're having a good day. And Silver King, because I'm a masochist that loves getting hurt in video games. Oh dear. I'll let you ch choose which boss I should try if I'm rusty or not. Um. This is the moment where I tell you I've never played Sekiro before. I have played through Dark Souls one, two, and three. I've uh pretty much I, I have beaten two it's just the dlc i haven't completed um and then i stopped at th i stopped a good way into three uh i'm pretty close to the end though from my understanding um but i want to play it online because i want to play it with friends because dark souls solo i i, I made I, I went through it because i wanted to do it for stream but i i just don't find dark souls alone to be that fun elden ring is different because i get to explore and it's open world um 
but yeah, no, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, 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 I'm kind of take it or leave it when it comes to actual Dark Souls. Um, just never been the actual biggest fan of it. I know, like, there's nothing wrong with liking it, and if you like it, you know, that's, that's, that's entirely fine. But Souls games in general, I've just never been, like, the biggest fan of. I like them all mechanically and thematically. That's kind of what, that's kind of what it comes down to a lot. Um, uh, I really like things from, like, thematic standpoints. But, um... Is this supposed to be medium? Or, like, small? I think that's supposed to be small. I think these are all supposed to be small in the front. And then... Uh... Yeah. That one's the big one. And then... I can't tell what that is. Is it this? But, like... Oh, wait, shit. Is it this, but medium? Small? Medium? Okay, which one? Ah, fuck. I don't want to look at the clues, but I... I ah. Maybe this is supposed to be small. I did it! I did it! Pretty much no clues. Uh, I know this opened up. But you can't even see the main flowers because it was scrolled below. I did it on my own for once. Technically not within the time limit, but I did it on my own. God damn it. Flower pot event sucks ass. It's so, it's so dumb. Also, they don't, they don't let you get creative with it. The fact that they don't let you get creative with it, they're like, oh, yeah, just match what I tell you to do. What's the point? What's, like, the actual point to that, then? Like, why why am I, why am I bothering to do this if I just have to do it exactly as you tell me to do? That's so boring. And... Oh, they give you multiple pots. Oh, that's neato. Two. One. Two. I don't know why I started with two. I apologize. Three. Four. Ooh. Five. Ah, all right. Pen Pals book reviews in the Super Lucky General. I'm curious as to how this goes. I'm actually really curious as to what the side quest is going to be. It did, uh, it did take me 10 minutes because I couldn't find out what flower I got wrong. I also forgot to mention something about Crosscode. Once you beat the game, you can do New Game Plus to give yourself special powers, uh, which makes you insta hit everything. And, mm, sadistic and evil personality while fighting. Bruh. You know, according to the arrival schedule, there should be one last ship arriving in Rito today. Ooh. But the Eridori Festival is coming to an end. Who would be showing up now? Somebody showing up right at the end of the festival? Who could that be, I wonder? Oh, it's almost time. Let's go to the harbor and take a look. Alright, alright. I'm curious. My curiosity has been piqued. This quest was amusing? Mmm, yes. Hey! Kakomi! Why is she Hi, so- Mon. Nice to see you again. Oh, poor Kakomi! She made it all the way in at the end! <laughs> oh, no! And Juno, Mwah. Yahoo, how you doing, cutie? Mwah. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hi, how are you? How are you? Wow, it's Kokomi and Goro. So the Divine Priestess and the General of Watatsumi Island have come to take part in the Iridori Festival. Yes, but we are not here representing Watatsumi Island's administration. We were invited as individuals. They're just here for fun. Things are quiet. I think I'm rusty, but still, who in the right mind put the parry button on the lower right shoulder so button? <laughs> so I decided to make the trip here. Goro was not greatly interested in the Irodori Festival. But he said if I was going to Rito, he would join me. A. Her Excellency is traveling outside of Watatsumi Island and also meeting her pen pal today. Pen pal? As her general, it is my duty to ensure her safety at every turn. I'm actually really curious about the pen pal. Pen pal? Pen pal? Yes, we started corresponding just recently. Hmm. 
My pen pal and I share very similar tastes in light novels, and we always have a lot of interesting thoughts to share. Of course, there are also times when we fiercely disagree. Okay. Since we okay. were both coming to the Irodori Festival this time, we decided to take the What if it's like someone you never expect, like Ito? I think it'd be really cool if they. Is it A? Yo, wait a second. I could, I could, I could see that happening. I could see that happening. Who knows? Maybe you'll shake things up on the Inazuman literary scene. That could be fun. <laughs> That's a very interesting idea. It's almost time. Goro and I must go to meet my pen pal at the agreed upon location. I think it would have been interesting if it was uh I'm like the, the sneak peek at Shinobu. If Shinobu just appears at the very last little bit of the Iridori festival. I think that would have been nice. Yeah, also, do you think Ito has the brains to be a good pen pal for Kakomi? Yeah. <laughs> yes. The only the only other person that it could be here. outside of A right oh, now is like Guy herself. Those are the only two people that make sense in the context of the situation. Because they're the only ones linked with light novels as far as the uh, the, the, the playable characters go. Oh, I forgot to have the in-game music on. Oops. Huh, there's no one else around. It looks like we're early. My, my. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. Yai! <laughs> of course. I don't think, uh... <laughs> Goro running away! <laughs> Goro just ran! Oh, no. Paimon had a kind of Oh, my God. And Sloth, Yahoo, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. Oh, they're gonna end up having a fight. Lady Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. No wonder. I was just wondering where that air of superiority was coming from. <laughs> the signature smug look of superiority. <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't the leader of Watatsumi Island, who looks as soft as a jellyfish, but whose words sting like one, too. Mm. Uh-oh, this is getting out of control fast! Is it really? They seem to be getting along just fine to me. Hello, nice to meet you, fried tofu with all the frills. Fried tofu with all the frills? What is that name? <laughs> wow, that's a, that's, that's a, that, that's a pen name. All right. The pleasure is all mine, and soul of the deep. Anime. Pick the head pass. <laughs> <laughs> the pen name cringe is so good. It is actually. Like the fuck? Ah, lonely hey, why? What's going on here? <laughs> Alright. Gotta Oof. one. Oof. Two. Oof. Three. And so the fish fox shipping began. Three. Four. Five. The shipping name is now officially called a uh, a uh, a uh, 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 seafood fox. It's just it's just uh, like uh, like you have you have uh, Fox Miko with 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 Kokomi fish in her mouth just running around the open plains of Inazuma. <laughs> Miko is Kokomi's pen pal? No, it can't be. Look at them. Clearly, they already knew each other. Does that mean? Is the pen pal meeting a cover up? Hmm? Whatever are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm simply here for the book review session with Miss Soul of the Deep. Mm. Let's go. The venue for this meeting is in the Conjo Commission headquarters up there. The view is excellent, making it a perfect place War to crime and discuss smugness. creative yes. ideas. Who holds a book review in the Conjo Commission? You seriously expect anyone to believe that? Bruh. You're not here to talk about shaking up the Inazuma literary scene. You're here to talk about shaking up things in Inazuma as a whole. <laughs> Watatsumi Island will soon hold formal talks with the Shogunate on Inazuma's future development. It's a 
essential to have an informal meeting like this one before the formal talks begin. Not wrong. Right, especially with someone outside of the Shogunate like myself, who is in a good position to test out where each party draws the lines. Mm. But this is just our first meeting. It's a little too early to announce it to the general public. Huh. Okay, then. By the way, where is your general? Didn't you say he would be joining you? He was, but he ran. Oh, that's right. What happened where to Goro? What what happened to that fierce canine loyalty, Goro? Goro? <laughs> Goro went to buy some books for me. He won't be attending the book review. Kakomi covering for her friend. Though. Oh, what a pity. I was rather looking forward to seeing his fluffy ears again. You know what I just noticed though? I've been I've been guessing Sucrose has been a fox, uh, fox person like uh, her lineage, the entire time. Yes, yes, she like fox. First of all, foxes are technically in the canine family, a. Eh? Um. And 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 Sucrose has been referenced to being canine in origin multiple times with her quote unquote obsession over bones and burying them and doing experiments on them, etc. But they both have the same droopy ear um, models. I, I I think it's possible that Sucrose is actually a, a Sucrose might have been the first fox girl in Genshin. Traveler, uh, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Yeah, what's up? Hmm. I have been getting the sense that Goro does not like having to deal with Gujiai. So I was initially reluctant to bring him to Rita. Oh, are we gonna spill? Time. Are we gonna spill Goro's secrets? I noticed he instinctively hid as soon as he saw her just now. However, Goro has a strong sense of responsibility and will feel ashamed when he next sees me. So, I would like to give him the task of buying some books for me to make things easier for I thought him. they were feather ears on Sucrose. No, um, if you actually look at the bottoms of her feet, which you can, uh, you'll notice that they have little paw prints in them. Wouldn't have that if it was for a bird. She's gonna tell you to fuck up and take care of the dog, Goro, yeah. But Goro rarely <laughs> does anything. So, as a favor from me... I'd like to ask you to accompany him. Yo, Goro date. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Leave it to me. You focus on the meeting with Nico. Leave the books to us and Goro. Hell yeah, baby. Thank you. I made a list of the books I'd like to buy. Please, pass it on to Goro. I just... Okay. Can I point out that her choker ha clearly has a pearl there and a shell, but they didn't put a 3D model for either of those things. However, the water drop at the bottom gets its own 3D model. This is a five star that people paid money for. It's almost like Mahoyo knew that Kokomi wasn't going to sell, so they didn't put as much effort into her as that they they would have for other five star characters. Like for real. What what is what is this? It's fucking painted onto her neck. Jesus. Kokomi's not even wearing a dress. It's all body paint. All right. Holy fuck. been body paint this whole fucking time it's kind of hot <laughs> all right shopping list of books compiled by kakomi all the genres unit prices amounts of books that she desires elegant script all right nice and amida kondria welcome welcome how are you how are you and Goro? what are you all right <sighs> two for real, who tells small little rings on her fingers? Yes, they are 3D. Three. Four. Five. <sighs> Merry Thigh Thursday. <sighs> like, even Goro. <gasps> oh, it's you. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you know who to show up. Oh, it, it completely caught me by surprise. I had no idea what to say to her. Even Goro, I knew I'd apparently already who is a cover. four star, mind you. Look at this. You can tell from the uh, from 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 the thickness of the lines 
that he, he like the collar itself was a 3d model in the first place sure i'll give it that but it's got layers to it you've got the cord layer you've got the base metal layer you've got the 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 the, the finishing layer on top of that and then you have an additional layer with 3d modeled little 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 bullet pins i don't know what the fuck these are like uh, goro who's a four star got more attention to detail than kakomi uh, bruh and bokeh yeah are squats on yes unfortunately <laughs> could you take a look I at my yoimi a bit sure the safety of her excellency but now i'm useless i've become a burden instead i mean them wanted to emphasize the color is fine but like goro got like more like Actually, accent Kakomi accentuation than kakomi did and goro is purely an ito support purely a geo ito geo albedo support excellency's purchase list got it this is how her excellency wants me to make up for my mistakes. you could also see like no, while he was reading that list me. his tail wiggled back and forth excitedly ah he's so cute why is goro so cute man it's great Oh, thank you so much. Ba, 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 ba. And yeah, Omito Conjure, if you uh, if you DM me your your UID, uh, I can just uh, I can just uh, take a look at your Yoi. I wish, uh, which is odd given that they have no in-game connection to Ito. It is a little odd. And Bokeh, thank you for the head tap. It is it is a little odd that they haven't really done much to. Um, insinuate any real connection right it is definitely a little strange uh i don't even know if i need to buy these but i'm here buy some sango pearl buy some unagi why not because i remember to oh this shit only resets once a week only once a week huh all right give me one second though i'm gonna oh What's there is a children's storybook on this list called Night at Mount Yogo. I think this is the stand where it's being sold. Okay. Children's story. I was gonna turn on the background music again, but you know what? At the yes. rate that this is going, yes. I'm gonna keep forgetting, so whatever. Her excellency <laughs> says that this book is simply written and very useful for learning new words. More like she just wants to read the children's book. <laughs> Hello? I'll take uh, five copies of Night at Mount Yogo, please. Thank you for your patronage. Wow, you're a lucky customer. There's a coupon in one of the books you just bought, which entitles you to a free gift. Hey, that's pretty neat. Wow, Goro got a free gift. That's amazing. Goro's kind of lucky, huh? Here you go. A toy box. It's all yours. Oh, no. <laughs> You like to hug that tail of yours to sleep, boy? <laughs> a toy fox? I can take it. Are you okay? The hair on your tail is standing on end. I'm fine. Thanks for the gift. Oh, Mungo. Could you maybe uh, l look after the toy for me? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yes. Uh, as a thank you gift for coming with me to buy the books. <laughs> and Seems Tia, like mm, how you doing, Nico. cutie? Hope you've been having fun playing League. Hope you've been doing goody. Hope you've been having a goody day. Mwah. Welcome, okay, welcome. Uh, next up, I love the voice crack. This yes. isn't the focus of this trip, but let's go buy a light novel. It says on the list that Her Excellency had an editor called Onodera purchase the latest issue of A Legend of Sword for her in advance. Mm. Oh. We'd better not keep him waiting too long. I'm not playing League. I saw you playing League oh, earlier today. We'll at least, way. um, at least Discord said that it was playing. You were playing League earlier today, unless you just had League open. I, uh, <laughs> it's 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 probably possible that you just had it open in the background somewhere, uh, and Discord just picks that up. The gift that Goro got when helping Kokomi purchase books during the Dodi Festival. Goro then gave it to you. Oh, thanks for accompanying him. Oh. Every time you look at it, you can't help but to remember the sight of every hair standing on Goro's head, uh, as standing on end as you hear the word fox. Bruh. Bruh. Excuse me, are you Mr. Onodera? 
I'm here to pick up the new issue of A Legend of Sword for I, Soul of the Deep. I feel Yai has done more than touch his ears. Oh, absolutely. Look, I've seen I've seen some good artwork of Raiden pegging Goro. Uh, but I think Yai pegging Goro makes more sense. All right. <laughs> Hello there. Yes, I have the book right here. I heard Soul of the Deep is the VIP of the Iridori Festival, but I couldn't make it here in time for the signing event due to the shipping schedule. Mm. Oh, uh, also, if you have these books available, uh, please give me one of each. Thank you. All right, let me see. And Scullo! Mwah. Yahoo! Oh my goodness. Welcome. It's your lucky day How today, you sir. You are the hundredth reader to buy the saga Hamavarin. That entitles you to receive a special edition version with a review personally written by Lady Yai herself. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, are you serious? Goro is like are the luckiest okay? son of a bitch you I've ever fucking well. met. Goro stole all of Bennett's that, four star I'm luck, bruh. Fine. Thank you for the books. Uh, but I, 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 I like, th there has to be something in the background. Like, like, one of Yai's fox spirits lingering in uh, the background. Soul of the Deep asked me to buy this book after all. M might be sure cheap sneaking in Yai bonuses in. Yeah, more like Yai rigged everything for him. It's very possible. Uh, Knowing her. <laughs> <laughs> and Izzy, why did it repeat my last message? What, what, what happened? Oh, one other thing. Because of the amount of your purchase, you're able to enter the Yai Publishing House's lucky draw. Oh my god. With me. He's right gonna this win way. this too. Wait, is, is he a lucky dog constellation or some shit? Is Goro's whole thing being lucky like Klee's? Klee's whole constellation is literally the four-leaf clover of luck. What? Okay, okay, okay. Hold up. What is his... Canis Bellatoris. Let's... Look that up. Canis Bellatoris. Dog of War. It means Dog of War. It has nothing to do with luck. So why the fuck is he as lucky as Bennett is unlucky? Do they have similar birthdays? Did he, did, did he just siphon all of Bennett's luck? 518? Where's Bennett? Where is Benito? 229. No. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Bell means war. Mm, yes. How do you have C2 Klee? Uh, uh, C1 was from luck. And then Sir, on her rerun, I pulled her again. I got lucky. I got ready. another constellation. I really want C4. Just turn the handle and a prize ball will come out. I might. Maybe today is your lucky day. I might whale for C4. Come on, Goro. <laughs> I'm actually considering, like, truly whaling for a C4 clay when she comes up on her next rerun. If I if I have the money, I might do it. Let me see. <gasps> oh, wow. Incredible. You got the golden ball. That's the grand prize. He just wins everything. <laughs> Literally, he just came by and won all of the prizes. You're a lucky dog today. <laughs> this fucking Giga Chad. The grand prize is a full collection of each light novel published by Yai Publishing House. Ooh. Not only is the prize awarded personally by Lady Yai, <laughs> but you will also have the chance to shake hands and take a photo of her to Oh, the no. Exhibition. What? Not only do I have to meet her, but... I have to shake her hand and uh, take a photo with her too. Adorable. Good luck, Goro. Hang in there. What? Gun button in. The Yai Publishing House's grand prize? Wow, that's so lucky. Hey, look, everybody! This said guy won the, the grand house. prize. That's worth a lot of money. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, ma'am. Could we discuss this? I don't actually want the light novels. Oh my god. Huh? I'd give you my clee if you I could. I would happily take price? people's clees. And on a man, why? Why do I get bombed? Well, don't give up your prize. Well, if you don't want to see Miko, that's easy. fine. We'll figure something out. Yeah, fuck, little bitch. No, uh, that's not shit. what I meant. I'm not giving up the prize. And uh, I can cope with the and I ceremony and the, <clears throat> the picture taking. <laughs> but I have a request. 
I would like to ask Yai Publishing House to change the prize from light novels to books on agricultural science of equivalent value. Oh, Joshua! Yes. Seven yes. months, yo! Thank you for the sub. I do really appreciate it. That's five more squats. Grain harvest. Got it. We've been looking for new <sighs> ways to improve One. the residents' lives. Ah, two. Oh, Goro, thinking of One the civilians. Of ex, Three. Uh, Soul of the Deep's core objectives Four. for the Iridori <sighs> Festival was to purchase some Five. works on crop Ooh. cultivation and aquaculture. Ooh, squats. If I can get these books as my prize instead, we can save a lot of money, and Soul of the Deep can buy some other useful resources too. Hmm. Nice. Oh, Goro is such a good see. boy. I understand your request, but I don't have the authority to grant it. Lady I will have to have the final say. Every time I open your DMs, I just see the fan art you sent me. You're the one that asked for them, all right? You you get what you fucking deserve. I will contact Lady Yai now. <laughs> Please wait for our reply at the Five Crescent <laughs> Plaza. Depending on the situation, Lady Yai might need to negotiate this matter with you further in person. Okay, understood. Officially farmed all the materials needed to level 90 a certain archer. I'm very close. I'm like two serpent cores away yeah i'm two uh, runic fangs away i'm i'm very close uh what was i um oh so uh a mitochondria wanted me to check that yoimiya 2k attack is certainly not bad uh 68 crit rate 156 crit damage okay okay pretty good pretty good Rust rank five. All right, it's honestly the best uh, four star that you can get. Uh, full wow, four piece shimanala. Four piece shimanala is pretty pog. The attack stance comes from the clam <laughs> set. Hey, what a pyro goblet though! Holy shit! Wow, what a pyro goblet! Wow, that's pretty good. Um, okay, I would uh, recommend that you maximize uh, um, your your E and your auto attack. Uh, well, they're they're at nine unless you want to crown them. I I would I would still take the Niwabi to nine because she is a hyper carry. You just want to raise her as much as possible. Uh, just needs no needs half a percent of crit rate. A half percent of crit rate would solve everything. However, I actually don't know if they finished ascending. Um, I actually don't know if they finished ascending, uh, because if, oh, they did, because it's 80 out of 90. All right, all right, uh, so they, they can't get more crit rate via ascension. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm going to go straight to Lurk. I actually need to change in, uh, ch change clothes and go to UPS. All right. Drive safe, Joshua. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for your support, cutie. Mwah. You think so? I guess I got a burst of courage when I thought about Her Excellency's orders and the people of Watatsumi Island. Mm. I am the general of Watatsumi Island's armed forces. How can I let something like this defeat me? Oh, seeing, seeing the now. little sliver of I back like window back and his shoulder blades. <laughs> Even if Yai Miko does come to negotiate <laughs> with me, I won't let myself be pressured by her. Mm. Are you sure about that? You still look pretty nervous, though, Goro. <laughs> Are you oh, sure well, about that? Probably because I just realized she might make a cunning counter request just to... Toy with me. Ah, Bokesh, no. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. What? How Two. did it go? What did Guji Yai <sighs> say? Three. Lady Yai has agreed Four. to your request to swap the light novels for books on agricultural Five. science. Yeah, I gotta appear immediately to destroy that. <laughs> She's gonna be the first I character I can level Lady 999 talent to her on day one. Wow, 999. your intended use for those books. That's a lot. You may accompany me. I'm gonna six. Uh, I'm gonna six eight books. nine or six nine. Uh, 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 I'm gonna six eight tomorrow, ten right? or six nine ten. We will package the um, selected yellow. books and take them directly that's, that's my onto goal. the ship for you. You'll package um, the books. Although I still need to farm then, her artifact set. What about the ceremony? <laughs> 
and the lady eyes said selecting uh, books may Yaga, take up a lot of your time and energy. Yahoo. To ensure you have How fond you memories cutie. of the Iroquois mm -hmm. Festival, welcome, welcome. I hope you've been enjoying Dead Space ceremony. recently. I've uh, <laughs> I've okay. noticed you've been she playing that. You a <laughs> you can read it on your own time. She wrote a letter. I didn't think Do you also have enough Mora for that? I've got like seven mil mm -hmm. Mora. So outside so of the artifacts, I've got enough me. for now. Now um, it seems like I was overly suspicious of her. Outside, outside of artifacts, I have anyway, enough Mora at the I'll moment. Go with the I don't know if it'll now. stay that way, but <laughs> yeah, see you tomorrow night, Goro. Great. See you tomorrow night. All right, go to the docks to see Kokomi and the and Goro off tomorrow. All right. So we're looking for next day at around 18. All right, there we go. Not feeling too well, but I'm good. Dead space is terrifying. Oh, it's fucking scary. First time I tried, it took me three and a half uh, hour, uh, three plus hours to reach just the third save point. <laughs> this time it took me less than half. I did the next quest. A yeah, I I, I noticed. Uh, I, I I saw that you said that you swapped over to easy mode. Just have a more com uh, comfortable time just getting through it. I think the story is definitely worth experiencing. I technically haven't actually played the first game though. I played the second game, and I played the Trash Fire that was the third game. Um, I know what happened on the first game. But I kind of like not knowing, not experiencing it for myself. You know, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Waiting for that Scaramouche banner. I wouldn't be surprised if Scaramouche becomes the uh, the weekly world boss of uh, 3.1. Because let's 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 think. 1.1 came with Tartalia, and we got him as a playable. 2.1 came with Signora. She's, uh, <laughs> she's playable if you, uh, are, uh, 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 are willing to scatter some ashes around. <laughs> um, uh, and, and Scaramouche might be, I think, personally, the weekly boss of 3.1. I don't know if that'll make him playable. I think it'd be neat if they kind of alternated a little bit, you know, mix things up. And, uh, uh, get, get made that scar uh, Scaramouche... Uh, uh, playable would be nice. Would be nice. Easy doesn't make it any less scary though. Yes, I want to get through it though. Yeah, you got it, baby. How was your trip to Rito? Very worthwhile. The book review session was a big success, and I feel very positive about the forthcoming talks. Mm. Goro also made a great contribution. He procured a whole batch of useful books for Watatsumi Island. Without spending a dime. Uh, I may have won the prize, but ultimately, it was Yaimiko who gave us all these books for free. If I have the chance in the future, I must thank her properly. Mm. Speaking of... Thank her with that ass, baby. Did Yaimiko send you a letter yesterday? What did it say? It was, was that his Miss Hina work that she gave him a letter oh, for? I, I almost forgot. I'll read it now. Oh, he hadn't even read it yet. Dear Goro, I suppose you must have been extremely nervous when you heard about the prospect of the award ceremony and the photo. Mm hmm It came as a surprise indeed to learn that not only did you accept those conditions, you also made your own demands. Your courage has won my respect. She's Those just telling him what he wants to hear. Will to Watatsumi Island. And also my gift to you. She's telling him what he wants to hear. All I hear is Kakomi's yes, essence. <laughs> I'm sure that at this point, you must be feeling ever so grateful for my kindness and are looking for a way to repay me. Yes. Yeah, about it. Yeah, she well, buttered it up. She... Oh, no. Yai Publishing House will host an event next month. And we are looking for someone to dress up as a character from a light novel and interact with the fans. Are you Goro cosplay? Goro skin? You are not Goro skin? Also very beautiful. Goro skin, let's go! Why don't you come and help us? Give it! I'll prepare a tailor-made outfit just for you. You know for a fact that's gonna be a woman's outfit. Specify also very beautiful. <laughs> Put him in a dress! Oh, and by the way, it'll be a woman's outfit. I fucking called it. <laughs> 
fucking <laughs> Miss Hina, Miss Hina, Goro skin, Goro skin. <laughs> I knew it. I knew she was up to something. You better do it, Goro. I'll be there to take fucking pictures. I'll be there to take pictures, this motherfucker! <laughs> I need to see Goro Miss Hina. Oh, it became a furnishing too, neat. What the fuck did I walk in on? Don't worry about it. <laughs> this fucking game. This fucking game. Alright, go to quest. God damn it, Genshin. <laughs> Cute fox toy we can place in our teapot. Wait a minute. <laughs> if, 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 only, if only we could actually place things in our teapot right now. If only. And Silver King, mwah, thanks so much for stopping by. We'll see you later, baby. Mm, you have a good rest of your night. You have plenty of sleep. When you were mentioning Yai and Miko pegging Goro, where is it? It's from Thick with the Q. You could probably find it online. Um, you can teleport directly to the sword event. Can you? Oh, thank God. Oh, that's so convenient. Okay, let's go. I am glad to know that that is the case. Looking forward to the duel. What are you doing here? Actually, when I said previous four warriors have joined, I was including myself in that list. I'm the organizer, but there's too few participants. I'm bored for combat. Mighty foe before me. I must have my duel. I've been waiting to say that for a long time now. All right, all right. So we're dueling this guy now, too. He Wait, he looked down at the fourth contestant? So the fourth contestant has to either be really, really twinky or be really ridiculous somehow. I'm actually really curious who the fourth contestant is. All right, let's do it, baby. Time for you to get fucked. Teach me a lesson. I will. Allow me. Strike first. Okay. So he's got quite a bit of delay before he actually swings. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. He's over here. What is he doing there? The prize money painstakingly prepared by myself. He's literally off the edge of the map. He's standing there in the map while fighting me. Wait, no, no, wait, is that a new one? Oh, it's a new one. It's a third fight. Okay, never mind. I wow, what is this? What is this? That's confusing. Is it the person that made the Tartalia Ganyu thing? Yes. Alright, I gotta do it on Perilous for 20k Mora. I can't say no to that. I can't say no to 20k Mora. It's not so mind break mind blowingly large that I, I can't miss out on it or anything like that. But, like, I need it. Jury Genshin gotta work on some new content devs are pushing. It's a train wreck. Oh, God. Good luck, my guy. Good luck. You be safe. And, ah, Yaga. Why? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Wow. Just die already. My traveler does no damage. Ah, I missed time to one parry out of all of that. 
Ah, two! I hit the button, but because I was stuck in the attack animation. What is what is this, Dark Souls? What is this, Dark Souls? Stop! Just let me get the... Bruh. There we go. Twelve bugs today so far. Jesus fucking Christ. That quest is... Uh, that, uh, that that game is doomed. The fuck? That that's a that's a little too much. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit too much. Hey, big boy. Long have I awaited. Strike I shall and triumph. Blonde-haired boy, not my match. After this battle, triumph tomorrow. Is he is he trying to do like a haiku? Is he trying to haiku me? Is that what this is? The fuck? He's fucking asking for it. I'll kill you, I swear to God. Don't think I won't. This isn't government sanctioned. I'll murder you. I'll shake you in the kidney and I'll steal your liver. Yeah. Motherfucker. Uh. Think I won't? Ah. Yeah. Think I won't? Ah, I hit the button. What a sad, what a lot, what a lot of bullshit. Re, Umbra, we'll see you later. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care, be safe. Oh God, I do no damage. Unlock what the Taro Maru? I see what they meant by uh, they underestimated the fourth Let's go challenger. Get in the and see who can make the biggest splash. Uh why is Taro Maru the final boss? <laughs> why why is he the final boss? The, the <laughs> The worst part might be that I actually recognize him right away. Can I hit can I hit my parry button? Cheap tricks. Yeah. The puffers of Boreal Valley. How is that how is that previous one not a perfect parry? How's that not a perfect parry? Can you only perfect par no. How's that not a perfect parry either? Okay. I know that one more. Can you let me hit my button? What's going on? Sometimes I hit the parry button and it just doesn't go off. I don't know what's happening. I. Wow. It literally won't. Oh my god. So if he hits you, it stuns you just long enough that even if you time the parry perfectly. It doesn't let you use the parry. Yeah, you can't parry that. Cause I definitely have been hitting the 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 electro the I have been hit I have been parrying the electro slashes. Or like th there have been moments when I have actually like gotten the timing right for the electro slashes. The electro slashes you can't seem to parry for some reason. The fuck? What is that bullshit? I'm salty. It's Taromaru, the mightiest warrior is Taromaru. The fourth warrior came because they lacked some more on hand. I guess Taromaru in it for the prize, but Taromaru, what do you mean you lack money? You own a business. Oh my god, he has a little bone on his hat! Can we get more Ninken enemies? Did you cheat him off somehow? Taromaru, this is the most solemn duel. The prize money will go to the most skilled martial arts between you yourself and Cross. 
But if we win, we can buy some tasty snacks to eat. Are we- are, are you trying to bribe him? Oh, uh, you can parry the electro attacks. You can't be near him, though. It's too fast. Bruh. But, like, that's supposed to be the whole point. You're supposed to be next to them because you're supposed to, you should be hitting them in between. Uh, bring it on anyway. Whatever it is. I feel I do feel like this the the parry hit recognition for um for this event seems to be different from the way Beto and Yunjin parry feels. Which is odd. Cause those are slightly more lenient with your uh Oh he became big! I have to dodge that. I I, I missed the timing on it. Yeah. So I can reduce the damage, but I can't seem to parry that one. Okay, I fucked that one. How is that not a parry? See, that was a parry. Ground for kind of a long time. I kind of feel bad. Oh, okay, so you can parry those. It's just weird. So you can parry those. It's just weird. It was a parry, just not perfect. Yeah, but I perfectly parried that, that one time and sent every single blade through the dog. Wow, I, I don't like that sentence. <laughs> So you can parry it, but it's 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 just really specific for some reason. Hate taking naps, but head spinning, so I'm gonna be lurking soon. Probably just gonna rest my eyes a bit. Hey, no worries, Yaga. You take care of yourself, okay? Mwah. Get plenty of rest. Wow, he can block a lot of hits, huh? Can I hit him from behind? No, he just... Okay, you can't block the explosion. You... Maybe you can parry the explosion, but I'm bad at it. Can I parry this? No, I tried. Oh god, he's like actually hard. There we go. Ah. ah, I mistimed it. And DVD anime. Mwah. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the folly. Okay. Can I parry the heat death of the universe? Oh! That's right! You can parry... Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I almost forgot, but if you parry the... Uh, if you parry environmental elemental hazards, you heal. It, it's why I think that there's gonna be a Dendro heal traveler. I legitimately think there's gonna be a Dendro parry heal traveler because of that mechanic for some reason. Yeah, I definitely feel like they're alpha testing Dendro traveler. Oh yeah, look at the parry. Ah, come on. I'm running out of time. Ah, fuck. I'm just not used to reading a dog's animations compared to like a human being. Oh my goodness. I'm running out of time. Ah, how did I... Wow, he he's actually like a really hard fight. I, I can't get enough parries off. 
I genuinely can't get enough parries off. Oh, God. He's actually hard. No, no, no. I, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Time for Cross to build Traveler. Yeah. Uh, let me put... A, let me see if putting a better weapon on him also helps. Right? Oh, wait. I normally have Festering Desire on him, but they swap, they swap me off for, a, like, a silver sword no matter what. So it probably doesn't matter. They probably have a set loadout for you. All right, give me a second. I'm going to see if they let you take a look at your character stats. I'm actually curious. Oh, you can't open your character stats. Where's my perfect parry? There we go. And, ah, Bokash, why? Now's not the time. What? Two. Three. Four. Five. Woo! Ah, oh, come on, let me parry. Oh, come on. I'm bad. Oh, come on. Why am I why am I bad? Why am I bad? You can't parry that apparently, because he's invincible. I mean you can parry that, but I don't think he takes damage. Ah fuck. Ah, shit. Finally a perfect parry. Oh my god. That was exactly the time. Fuck you! Oh my god, I have 20 health! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I got killed by a dog! <laughs> alright, alright. You're right, you're right. I shouldn't be hitting willy-nilly. I should just be focusing on parrying. Um, but... It, uh... Okay. Can't parry that for damage, so why bother? Oh my god. His parry windows are just weird to me. How was that not a parry? Oh my goodness. There's like a weird delay, like before you can start parrying once it's off cooldown. Oh, and I mistimed that. My god, stop. Only one? <laughs> ah. Yeah, the Taro Maru timing is fucking weird. <sighs> I'm just bad at it. Okay, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart. Ah, uh, I know we can do it. It's just that, like, oh man, his timing is genuinely weird. The fuck? So he sent his hat off into the into the void. How is that not a perfect parry? Could you stop? 
Could you stop? How are these not perfect parries? Oh, finally. Okay, so charge attacks kind of don't aren't worth jack shit. Not perfect. There we go. Oh my god. How's that not a parry? How's that a parry? And the first one wasn't. Only some attacks do the big parry damage? I don't like that. That's dumb. Look, the whole point of parry is that it's supposed to be if you're good, it's consistent. That's, that's supposed to be the whole point of a parry. I don't... Meh. And Bokash... Meh. One. Ah. Two. Ah. Three. Ah! How ah, did not, not parry that one? Five. Oh, gosh. Can you not waste my time, too? I'm running out of time there, bud. How's that not a parry? Oh, come on! Finally! Holy fucking shit! Whoa! What a pain. Can block all attacks when he himself is not attacking. Jesus. Attacking Taramaro perfect pairs against his attacks will cause his fury meter to build up. Once it's full, he will perform a powerful ramming attack, which can be perfectly paired to knock him down. Okay. So, oh, so the way that the... So the way that the event handles quote-unquote perfect parries have nothing to do with your actual timing. It has to do with the timing and the enemy moves. So they're just adding extra layers of RNG just cuz fuck you, I guess. Cuz why not, I suppose. All right, that's kind of disappointing to know that. I kind of really wish like that's just that's just bad. <laughs> that's genuinely bad because like every time I parry, like I can't tell if I'm parrying correctly now because like the the the, the whole point is that the heavy like, snappish big swing is supposed to be your big indicator, right? That you did something correctly. But it, it it feels like the feedback loop is poor, right? Because, yes, I did get perfect parries, but I didn't swing back. So it makes me constantly, like, second-guess what I'm doing, right? It makes me second-guess what I'm doing. So I constantly sit there and be like, did I fuck it up? Am I Am I bad? Like, I, I just sit there and every single time I think that I've done something wrong, which I think is a problem. I think if, like, if, if, if I have to sit there and, and feel like I did something wrong, that's, that's, that's a problem. Um, normal parry, you get one stack. That's a bad, that's a bad mechanic. Parries are parries. Parries should be parries. The whole point of, like, there should be two different kinds of parries because... The the, 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 the the parry where all you do is build up a stack, where building up a stack isn't even super visible, is is bad. Because then it makes you think that you didn't do it correctly, and then you second guess yourself. I don't know why. I don't know why that's the way it is. That's, it's, it's, it's just poor. It's genuinely just a poor, um, I see it just fine. Yeah, well, you know... Not everyone has quite as good eyes as you, Sloths. All right, some of us are sit here and we wait for a, we we wait for a we wait for a, a, a obvious feedback loop, not like one small little feather appearing around us. You know, like how most games are meant to be played, where you see like the consequences of your actions visibly and clearly. 
That's why UI design is important. Um... I don't know. I'm just not like. Eh. It's not the biggest fan. Um. Okay. Uh. Bah, 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 bah. It, it should just have, like, one parry, and it should just be the big parry, and, and, or, yeah, no, like, I, I, I understand from, like, a design perspective, you just piss because you can't get big parry all the time, yeah, because that's what the game has taught me up until this point, parry correctly, get big parry, I'm fine with getting a big parry that does less damage, because I didn't parry as strong of, a, a, of an attack, but I should get the big parry animation every single time. I, I genuinely, I genuinely feel that way. Genuinely feel that I should get the big parry every single time. Even if I don't do big parry damage, I should be getting big parry every single time. Um, alright. I'm just gonna bring a bunch of Electro for the meme. <laughs> and then, uh, Gene for Yeet. And whatever. What is the situation? I can afford to lose ults on all these characters. It's fine. It just doesn't feel great. In the end, it's fine. It's not as big of a deal as I'm making it out to be. I know. But it's still annoying. Wait, what the fuck? So wait, hold up. Huh? How does this work? So they come down here. They go left. Oh, does it loop all the way around like twice? Bruh. The fuck? Okay. Um. Hydro. Cryo. Cryo. Hydro. Uh. Hmm, if I'd known it would be like that, I would have built something slightly differently. Dismantle that. Build one pyro here. Uh. I don't have enough points. Okay, you know what? Just start the wave. How many points do I get per kill even? Am I even getting any points? How do I get points? I hate Twitter. Why would you make me open it? Twitter sucks there is ass. No escape. Emerge. Nobody uses Twitter because they want to. I don't think you can't. That's weird. I don't like that. Right now. Stand clear. Absorption test. Right here. Right now. <laughs> This is so messy. Well, how, how, why am I not getting any points? Any Equinox. Welcome to the stream, cute fuck. Little shit boy. Mm -hmm. Little bitch boy. Just fuck you, remember? Mm -hmm. Adorable little shit. Little bitch. Little fuck. Mm -hmm. Gotta fucking love you, bitch. Mm -hmm. And I ain't never gonna stop loving you. Bitch. Mm -hmm. How's your day going, baby? Hope everything's going alright. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing goody. <laughs> I don't know what this anger mark thing is. My my turrets are getting angry. I don't know what that means. Theana Mechanica says dissolved rapidly. It really has. 
I'm, I'm not a fan of the current theater mechanic. It's, it's weird. I don't like it. It just became really weird. Like, out of nowhere. Uh, my head hurts. Call supposed to be 45 minutes. Ended up being five hours. Jesus. How are them thighs doing? They're doing all right. Not, 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 not too bad. Doing okay. Do, doing okay. All things considered, I could be, I could be worse. <laughs> Animal test There is no escape. Right now. Right here. Perish. Shine down. Right now. Emerge. I've got a kill zone here. And you ain't leaving. Animal to 63 away. Show that. Right here. Emerge. You ain't leaving my kill zone, bitch boy. Stand clear. Uh, could be worse message. Receive a lot of- Bruh! <laughs> Bruh! There is no One. Right now, right here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah! <gasps> Does he just destroy the towers that he walks through? Oh my god. What the actual fuck? He walks through and destroys towers. What? What in the actual Jesus is that? What? What? Shit! What? Okay! That's a thing! Alright! And coffee time, I hope you're enjoying your hot spring eggs, and or I hope they're turning out correctly. I don't know which state, uh, which stage of cooking you're in. But, uh, alright. Um, yeah, I, I, I hate this version of Theater Mechanicus. It's official. This version of Theater Mechanicus, legitimately, is kind of the worst. Um, all right. Uh. It's like actually the worst. All right, fuck it. This is why I cheesed everything. The internet saved me on this one. I just don't like the current theater mechanicus. Like they 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 force you to start with certain setups. They force you to start with certain setups. That makes that makes it not interesting. It's it's boring. It is. You don't get a choice. And that's that's honestly a problem. And I don't know how you're supposed to do it when they don't even give you points for killing things. There is no escape. Like they they literally ruined theater mechanicus. I wasn't even the biggest fan of it, but I can tell, uh, I, I, straight up, they ruined it. They, like, actually ruined Theater Mechanicus. Shine down. 
It, it's tower defense. It's such a simple thing. I can't like how did they how did they fuck it up this poorly? There is no escape. Right now, emerge. Right here. I feel like all the people complain about not enough RNG slash too much RNG. Yo, yeah, but this is this is dumb. What we have right now is dumb though. Oh, I can't make another thing. Wow, he's just outrunning the fucking mechanic guy. And why is that allowed? Why is that allowed? And, uh, you mean Uma, Yahoo? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, cutie? It feels like they don't want, uh, it, feel, it feels like you, you don't play the map, they, they just want you to fail. Uh, something like that. I, I can't, I can't figure out what the problem is, but there's something definitely wrong with there's theater mechanics no right now. Something, something inherently wrong about the current theater mechanic. Right here. And the worst part is this fucker. He walks through turrets and they just obliterate. Why is that allowed? Why is that a thing? Like, for what reason would anybody get to a, a, just walk through a turret and destroy it physically? Shine down. Come on out. Emerge. All right, burger consumed. Energy challenge come back. One. Time to write six pages of notes. Good luck. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah. Illusion shattered. Right here. They're just, they're just nothing I can ever do about the big one. The big one's just gonna always make its way through. They don't give you enough points to like destroy the things on the side that will get destroyed and relocate. They don't. There's, there's no point in fighting it. There's 13 more! And I'm out of points! There is no escape. It's literally know exactly what the map is gonna do ahead of time. And then plan your entire fucking mechanic around it. Right now, right here, show them. Animal Stay clear. I don't understand who thought this iteration of theater mechanicals was a good idea. Illusion shattered. Right now, right here. Yeah, like, oh, it, it was too random. Just do something more about the randomness. This is random. This is beyond random. What is this? Shine down. Right now. Right here. Right now. What actually is this? Right here. Like, genuinely, who asked for this? Like, nobody fucking asked for this. Oh, look! Super hyper fast ones that I'm not even gonna bother try to try and stop. Why is he even stopping? Don't bother, just go. Just go. I can't stop you. I'm not even gonna try. There's just no point. You guys are too tanky. The map literally doesn't facilitate actually fighting you. 
it facilitates me lasting and wondering why the fuck you guys aren't even added to the game in the in the manner that you are because you'll just walk through my towers and destroy them despite that having never never having been a thing before it's really cool when you look at it the first time but w when you're actually playing with it it's not fun there's nothing fun about having it just destroy all of your progress and all your entire setup and then being unable to counter it. And then you have to sit there and watch it tank through literally everything. And it takes so much time to go through. And the worst part is I bet you I need 2,500 points. I bet you I still need 2,500 points. So I'm just not going to get this one. This is, this is, I, I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to condone this shit behavior. This is literally the worst theater mechanicus of all time. Actually, actually disgusting. Worthless. Worthless. Obtain it. Yeah, 2,500 for 20. K no, no, fuck you. I gave it a shot, but, uh,. I, I, I genuinely think that they handle it so poorly that it's just not it's not fun. Like this is this is actually the worst theater mechanicus. I hope I hope they shut it down. Oh great. When there are less than ten mechanica in the field, all of them deal fifty percent more damage. Wow. Is that actually gonna help me enough to whatever? Basic attack value is sacrifice a greatly increased attack area. No. Greatly increases attack. Okay. Um, you're, you're giving me a freeze comp. W what, what good is EM on a freeze comp? What is this? What is going on right now? Elemental mastery is worthless on Electro. Sure, imprison, additional ta- oh my god, I can't. This is like, uh, why is this not on cooldown? It is on cooldown. Ah, what's also, what's up, rubber? Hi. Two, ah. Three, ah. Four, ooh. Five. What is even the point of these restraints? Fuck you. Fuck you. Um. So once we tap like less than 10, I don't know if that's reasonably even viable. Uh, it, it's a 10 or less and they do 50% more damage, right? Uh, oh, this is 10 turrets. I'm just going to hope that that's enough. Right now. Because right I put it on cooldown. It should be on cooldown by default. It, it, it's supposed to have a six minute cooldown. Six, five, something like that. I don't know. It has a cooldown. Right here. Right now. Right here. I thought it was less than 10. Is it less than 10? Okay, wait. So, four, like 4k damage, right? I'm not even seeing the damage number. What's happening? Is it because I'm in the menu? I did like five, uh, 5k, 4k. Okay, okay. So, if I put one down, 
Hmm, okay, so it's under 10k for sure. Yeah, it is doing less damage. It is doing less damage. Actually, let's dismantle this and put it further up ahead. Actually, did I even buff any Hydro? I feel like I... Yeah, I feel like I undid all the Hydro buffs. Like, why even bother with this? Dismantle that. Uh, just leave it on Electro. I don't know. Who cares? Oh, no! That one got away. Oh, well. Who cares? <laughs> Bruh. It is what it is. It is what it is. Look, if things run through, they run through. I say as I get ready to yeet things off ledges. <laughs> What is even going on right now? I don't know. I something about the current theater mechanicas. Um, can you not even fail uh, a theater mechanicas now? I mean, you can. The uh, the, the the horde mode from the the third uh, the third theater mechanicus uh, has a unit that will literally run over your turrets and destroy them, and you literally can't complete it. Um, you have to literally plan for failure ahead of time and know that that's exactly the mechanic that that's going to happen, which is honestly an unreasonable expectation. Um, my hot spring egg overcooked. Oh, <laughs> poor thing. I think I will try it again just to see, but like, I, I don't, I don't see how it, it it's worth my time. I don't see how, I don't see how this theater mechanic is worth my time. There's there's no replayability. It's so it's so dis so disappointing. Yeah, less than 10 now deals 80 increased damage. Okay. All right. Um full cryo buff. The uh the lockdown with additional targeting and attack speed. Um, rippling reflection. Oh, the uh, turret types. Um, sure. Uh,. I guess I can equip that, because what else am I going to do? Yeah, yeah, there's just there's just zero reason to rebuild and switch things up and or adjust your, your game plan. You don't get... You also don't really get any points for destroying things either. So you don't even get to, like... You don't even get to test your build options. It's just kind of pointless. Oh, wait, why do I even have a pyro option? I'm not even really using... Oh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, move this back, because at least we can set up a better kill zone back here. Actually, let's set that up instead. And then I will be on defense duty on this end. Oh, that's not what I want. There is no escape. Right now, right here. Emerge. They also look yeah, they also limit the kind of power that you can even use per level. Like Stand clear. Yeah, it it it's this, this is shattered. this is just the worst iteration right of theater mechanics I've been so far. I just don't understand it. Animal 
I sit there and wonder if it's my fault for not getting into it. But no, I think it's just bad. Nah. There is no escape. It has right to just be here. bad. Right here. And uh duck here. Yahoo, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, the turrets over there seem to be doing all right, though. All things considered. Kind of weird that I don't get to buff the uh, pirate totem at all, but mm, whatever. Right now, right here. It is what it is. Uh, that one might actually get through. Nope, he's being CC'd around. The one pyro helps with the 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 just um. The just little amount of CC that I need from it. Wow, I'm surprised nothing's gotten through yet. This is Pog. Illusion shattered. Show them. Emerge. Doing good. What about you? Doing all right. Um, really disappointed in Theater Mechanicus. I definitely wouldn't say Theater Mechanicus was ever any of my favorite events or anything. Oh Jesus. Absorption test. Stand clear. Ah, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Those guys are just too tanky. Oh, wow, yeah. The, uh... Ooh. None of these do enough damage. Mm. Even as someone that doesn't even care about the strategy, it just feels unfun. Yeah! I'm, I'm definitely a casual when it comes to Theater Mechanicus. I'm... If, 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 if I'm gonna be entirely honest, I'm just not a fan of Theater Mechanicus in general. Uh, but I really enjoyed the second one. And the first one was all right still. The th this this new one though. There is no escape. Right here. Emerge right now. Stay clear. Ah, we could have killed it if I was more focused on the front line. Oh, well, now I know it's coming from here. So. Shine down. Right here. Right now. Animal test 6308. Oh, that side doesn't do enough damage. This one almost did though. Aha! A kill. I will. I, I will. I will. I will accept it. Right here. Emerge. Absorption test. Ah, he's barely gonna get through. I'm barely shy of the point requirement. Man. I love creating as much towers as possible to make the biggest uh death uh uh biggest death storms. Now I feel right? You just feel so impotent in this version of Theater Mechanicus. Like I feel like I, I feel like I'm like I, ha I have no power. Like not 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 like I don't know. It just doesn't feel rewarding at all. And I really want the Mora. But I, I don't know. I, I I like don't see a point in even trying. Almost. I'm I'm sure that I'm sure that if I bash my head against the wall enough times and get lucky enough, I I, I could make it work, right? I'm I'm sure that we can make it work. But fuck. This just feels lacking in so many ways. I don't know. Uh, pairing event is easy as fuck. Pairing event is all right. I don't think it's like a problem. Wait, if I have continuous carnage, so it resets every seven seconds, and have it refund me 20, 20 points every time it explodes, does that work? Does that track? Does that stack? So do I get it back and still get the twenty points? I gotta test it. I gotta actually test it. I have to know. I actually have to know. Let's let me let me let me test the thing. Let me test the thing. Cause if that is the case, that might change everything. Yeah. 
This might change the world. Alright. Start it up. Shine down. Right here. Right now. Right here. This is actually potentially game changing if that does actually work as advertised. Although, I need to let something walk into it first. Walk, walk into it. I did get 20 points. Okay. Okay. I I need to roll I need to actually let them run into the mine so I can get points. All right. I see I understand. I'm beginning to believe. How many points does it take to put it down? 25? Yeah, easy. Easy, 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 easy. Just make a bunch of mines. Genuinely? Fuck logic. Just, just make a shit ton of mines. Oh, I can't set down any more mines. All right, all right, all right. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um. Oh, that's so good, actually. That's so good, actually. The minefield tactic. What the fuck? I hate that. That's viable. Genuinely, actually hate that it's viable. Oh, uh, I'm insufficient points. I I won't I won't be in a second. Thank you. Okay. How much do I get if I de dismantle you? Forty. So I need enough for. Oh. So let's dismantle you. And we'll put a. Fuck. I can only put another crack down. Whatever. It is what it is. So now we've got full circle. We've got hella mines set down. I think we can actually win this. I think we've got a chance. Although, it comes down to the question. Can this motherfucker just perma-destroy the mines? If he perma-destroys the mines, we're in for a bad time. We're actually in for a bad time if he perma-destroys the mines. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. There is no escape. Show them. Emerge. This is no longer within the realm of impossibility. Right here, right now. It's it's gonna be a bit of a struggle. Right here. But it's no longer impossible, impossible. Oh, uh, come on. Yes! Okay. Okay. This is doable. Uh, I do want to relocate some of these mines, though. I, I need to give some of the other mines enough time to, like, respawn and shit. Um. Alright. Alright. We got this. We can do this. This is possible. <laughs> This is possible. This is doable. We actually got this. And Alexander. Mwah, Yahoo. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, cutie? Mm, James is good morning, honey. How are you? It's almost like they want you to use the mines for this map. That's so dumb, though. The mines feel so gimmicky. I, I, I dare argue it's borderline anti-fun. I'm, like, I hate the fact that I have to rely on mine RNG. It feels so out of my control. That's my problem with it. It genuinely just feels out of my control. Especially now when we're gonna, we're gonna be fighting, like, doubles like this. Right here, right now. Show them. Animal test 
And then it destroyed the crack shot, so I gotta make a new one. There is no escape. Emerge right here, right now. Stand clear. Illusion shattered. Emerge. Right now, emerge. Animal test 6308. And blow up. And blow up. Actually, we've perfected that. But also, I fucking hate this. That's so dumb. It's not fun. Actually, actually not fun. What? Two, three, four, five. I have a story about what happened in the evening, uh, uh, evening part last night. What? What does what does that mean? <laughs> and butter bro. Double tap for you. And James says. Too. Adorable little fuck, little cute bitch, little shit boy, little bitch boy. You fucking remember, motherfucker, little shit, little bitch. Mwah. That I fucking love you, bitch. Mwah. And I never gonna stop loving you, bitch. <laughs> All right. Actually, I think I no longer need to farm elegance books too. I think we are now done farming elegance books. Yeah, I confuse. Oh. I have too many elegance books now. <laughs> I can I can just fuse up a, 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 a metric shit ton. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh my. Oh dear. Um. It was a full near blood Karen experience. Oh dear God, I'm scared, but I'm curious. <laughs> All right, color me curious. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> let's hear it. I'm, I'm, I'm. Look, look. I'm, 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 I'm. I shouldn't be, but I'm sold. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! Two dupes, Pog. Oh, I have so many books. And Tyler, mwah, welcome. How you doing, baby? Mm, welcome, welcome. Man, I don't want to do Theater Mechanicus, but I, I, I do want those Mora. I do want that Mora. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Um, although, instead of Raiden Shogun, I need more of a... Uh, a turret experience. Here we go. In the name of the princess in. Um. <sighs> I wonder if. Hmm. And what I can just do a bunch of Ganyu charge shots. Yeah, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. All right, spring tight advent. I can only have a nine mechanic eye on the field. All right. Um, start wave. Let's adjust our comp here. Um, all right. Uh, it's the number of furious discharge. Okay, hold up. Hydro definitely got a little bit of a greatly increased AOE value. Hmm. That's not actually very useful to me. So let's get the AoE. Uh, we'll get AoE freeze. Um, I kind of need the attack speed. Need or want? Hmm. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, unequip that. Let's have more hydro instead. 
Is that the wave? Well, let's give this a shot. Let's give it a shot. It was like once in a blue moon because I work at a big retail grocery store. We were selling Easter eggs. It was Thursday. And we ran out of Easter eggs by noon. The, uh, in the evening, Karen comes in. I swear to God, it's like looking at Miss uh, Mythical Creature. She comes in uh, like Karen's do and asks, where are the Easter eggs? Uh-oh. Uh, my main issue is that you can't craft as many turrets as I want. I mean, technically, you can craft up to the maximum amount of turrets that the game will let you. Realistically, you can't. That is that is my problem. That realistically, I cannot do what I want to do. Um, I'm gonna try building a little bit further back. I'm gonna go for a permafreeze comp. Um, more or less. Uh, at least that is my goal at the moment. I'm just gonna pray that it's enough for my purposes. Um, and I have to actually physically help defend a specific point, which is kind of the problem. So I have to pray that it'll do enough. Um, okay, this is as many as we can make. Let's do it. And Tyler, mm, adorable little shit, cute little fucker, little bitch boy, little shit boy. Mwah, did you fucking remember? Mwah, little cute bitch, little shit. Mwah, that I fucking love you, bitch. Mwah, and I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. Mwah. My royal decree. Little shit, little cute fucker. Oh no. I realize there's one problem. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I need to get rid of one of these. The pyromages are a huge problem to me. Uh, the cry the cryo mages are a huge problem to me. Oh shit. We're awake. Animal test 6308. Stay clear. Ta. 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 There we go. Um. Yeah, okay. Cryo mages are my bane here. For sure. I don't know about anything else, but... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah. I fucking hate this. This is oh, so unfun. Next on the agenda. Ah. 
God, this is just so. Mm. You know what? I've decided I'm not even gonna give a rat's ass about damage anymore. Whatever. These guys are probably gonna pass no matter what at the rate that we're going anyway. Oh, uh, well, Sarah! Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the, you for the rain. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're doing good. How are you? How are you? Uh, he's the last one. Oh, okay. I hate the current theater mechanicus. It's just so bad. So boring. Why is it the way it is? <sighs> I was playing a new game called Cat Cafe. Hey, I'm glad to. I'm glad to. Uh, I'm, 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 I hope it was a fun time. It sounds like a good time. Cat Cafe. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay. I. God, I hate this. All right. Um. Furious Discharge looks good on paper. It does not apply fast enough. Uh, it's not worth my time. Um, imprison all opponents within set AoE. Extended causing opponents imprisoned by it to take more damage. Uh. Um. My god. I. 80% uh, of refund. Sure. And then, uh. AoE in prison. Fuck it, I guess. Sounds really good. Alright. I... I hate this. I think I, like, actually hate this event. Um... I think this event might actually be the worst. And speak of the redeemed, did you ever do mine? Yes, yes, I did do your squats. I should do more though. Give me a second. Uh... Also, one, two, three, four. Random bullshit go! I don't even know anymore. I'm just praying that something is enough. It probably won't be, but I can try, goddammit. Alright. Uh. I don't know. I don't know if 80% damage is worth losing the utility of just having a full field of shit. Wait. Oh, the binding is one time! Oh, that's worth- Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck this. This isn't worth my time. This is just gonna be- <laughs> I have to start up and get the kettle ready for tea for my wife and I. A. A. God, how could they ruin theater mechanics this poor, this badly? Look how close I was to. Fuck. I only needed like 90, 94 more points. Man. Just needed to beat one more boss, dude. So dumb. What am I missing? Special invitation. Oh, yay. Oh, wow. A single pull. Wow, thanks Genshin. I feel so <laughs> I feel so rewarded for my efforts. Yay! 
do you do Easter? Um, technically, it's not like I don't not do Easter. I, uh, I, 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 um, I don't know. I'm like, you know, I, I am, I am Christian. So I do believe in God, but, uh, I've never done like, uh, Baba Bui, you know, never, ne ne never, myself. um, never like celebrated Easter as in like the way some people celebrate Easter. It's more like, a, oh yeah, it's Easter Sunday. Yay. And I move on like a normal human being. Uh, <laughs> Friday, Friday rolls off the tongue. So what is Thursday for cross doing squats for thighs? It's Friday for me and it rolls off so much better. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> All right, let's spend our last 20 resin. Oh, man. I feel bad for feeling, like, super disappointed by the Iridori Festival. Because there were so many upswings, but, like, like, all the side quests, all of the side quests Solidified. feel like downgrades somehow. Do your master's bidding. Brace yourself. Think you can get away? Access denied. <laughs> somehow, like all of the like theta mechanicus was really boring. Like really, really boring. The flower arrangement, like it's great for the teapot, and sure, it's not fun. Uh, wonder when marbles will return. Probably once I get the, the two PC setup going. Um, the, uh... The whatchamacallit. The, um... Mm, the, the... The the parry minigame was alright, I guess. Uh, that's the only one that I feel like had any value. Uh, but, like... A... Pairing just giving you stacks instead of like doing a light amount of damage because you parried a lighter attack versus par like doing a perfect parry on a heavy attack. Like the feet, the 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 feedback, uh, the, the 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 sense of feedback on it is kind of poor. Um, yeah, yeah, the, the 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 counter one is the only one that felt vaguely fun at all. I I I hundred percent agree. It's the only thing that had any sort of value. Um. Not me waiting for marbles. Totally not me. <laughs> oh. It's okay. We'll get there soon. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, the photo... But, like, we went from having a photography event, right? Like, we went from having a photography event into having a second photography event. What sort of creative bankruptcy is this? Like, the only reason I give any semblance of a pass is because they had recent spikes in, in Corona in, in China again. Because, uh, fucking of course they do. Oh, it's a mess. Um, but I also want to point out that these spikes only happened recently. And, uh, this patch was ready weeks in advance. And this is the best that they could put together for this festival. I thought you couldn't do marbles anymore. Marbles, for some reason, it lags my computer out, and because I'm trying to run my uh, my face tracking with with the with the with the program OBS, which is handling the streaming, and running games at the same time, and then when I run marbles, I'll be running a game, and then I have to switch over, open up marbles, so my computer is now running OBS, it's running PRPR Live, it's running two games, and everything lags the fuck out. I have to stop. Once I get the two PC set up going, I'm sure we'll be able to work it out again. But it's it, it it's it's a mess right now. Or never know it's how much they they're devoting to Sumeru. Like that's the thing. The the one thing that keeps me from quitting the game is the fact that I went through Enkonomi in the Chasm. I know how much work that they put into this game, and the Chasm proves just how amazing the devs are. Uh, uh, the devs are at world building, at exploration, at like just everything. The problem is, their event rewards always suck. Always suck. Every single event reward sucks. 
compared to the amount of time and the effort that you're expected to put in. Uh, and 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 also, you know, it, it it why 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 is some of it literally tedium? Why is it so, why is some of it actually tedium? I I, I don't understand. It makes you just do busy work for no fucking reason. Like it's eh. What? Two. Uh, three. Four. Five. Uh, wait. Is there no follow-up quest for Jinwu? It should be a story-based game with gacha, not a gacha with story. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it really, it really be doing us like that. Um, one second. Where was the... Hold up. Was it you, or... What happened to Jinwoo? She just kind of disappeared out of nowhere with like the quest. Um. Also, we we never saw Katarina again either, and I don't know if it's because I fucked it up, or if it's something else. Hmm. Stabilize. Did I fuck it, or is it something else? Also, I see ore. I'm distracted. Um, Katarina just goes whoosh? Alright. It's okay. It is what it is. Gather. Okay. Um, I do know that the... Chasm quest... Uh, thing has a follow-up. Let me take a look. One second. Um, ba -ba 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 Yeah, Valor's Afterglow. So, let me mute this tab so I don't hear. Okay. Um, for back to Jingchang, location, back to camp, give her her soup, day two clear. There's a day three. Here we go. All right. Uh, Primo James, frost glaze crystal item, obtain hidden achievement, Valor's Afterglow. Talk to the teleporter, the glowing arrows, talk to Jinwu to start the quest. Uh, talk to Muning about Jingchang's de departure, go to the teleporter later, to talk to Muning. That, oh, I did all that yesterday. After 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 finishing the quest, go to the West Side Glowing Narrows teleporter to obtain a hidden achievement. So apparently, it's around here. Hold up. Um, I found you through marbles. Honestly, <laughs> that, that that that's interesting. Uh, I, I, I like it, it it's it it, it, it kind of astonishes me how, how much some people are into the marble stuff not that that's a problem or that's a bad thing it's just uh I I, I yeah. people tell me that and I, I get surprised uh glide down to the northeast you'll find a tent with a letter and Yaga mm -hmm. wakey wakey the pet pat yeah I hope you had a little goody little nap though I hope you're feeling a little bit better. Yeah. Mwah. Okay. Looks like someone set up camp here. Oh, here it is. Ji Chang's letter. Aha uh ha. Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. We found it. That's a really long letter. Seems like Ji Chang left it here. Okay. Um. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, it's hers, all right. Where's she gone? Let's tell Jinwoo what happened first. Um, Ji Chang said she left following the path that leads. Oh, can 
Paimon, can you let me read what the fuck he said? Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, a frost glazed crystal. A glazed crystal produced in the depths of the chasm. The special glazed sand crystal ore was one of the many scattered around during the battle against the giant ruin machine. Glazed sand crystal ore is a regional specialty of the chasm, but this is different from the rest. Under the radiance of the blue crystal and the power of the abyss, a strange spiral pattern has emerged within the stone. It is cold, almost chilling to the touch. The once smooth crystal has been transformed into this shape by the great might that descended from the heavens and the miasma that arose from the earth's depths. Perhaps the form it has taken itself as a warning unto mortals. If the interaction of these forces alone could twist stone and metal thus, if that ordinary Huron was truly able to withstand the end of the pitch dark path, how would she have faced the discovery she would make? So I assume that the letter states that she's delving deeper into the into the darkness. Okay. To the exploration team. I'm sincerely sorry for leaving us at short notice. I'm grateful for your help along the way, but it's a pity that I cannot keep working together with you. Jinwoo, please do not feel upset about my departure. I trust that amongst all the unbecoming and foolhardly young adventurers that you've looked after, I am but one hopeless fool. I hope that I haven't been a big headache for you, and although that I've left, I left you with all with good memories. If I ever had any family, you'd be the one dearest to me. There are so many stories that I haven't been able to share with you. All I can do is leave some half-finished names on the map. It's a shame that it was done in such a haphazard fashion, and I didn't get to carry out much background research or fine-tuning the wording. I regret not being able to come up with better-sounding names for you and the others. Anyways, thank you for taking care of me, but I prefer venturing alone to being looked after by my seniors. Ah, oh, she's getting bitter about us looking after her. Mr. Kitty, please forget my willfulness. I understand that you have your concerns, and maybe, as you said, the secrets hidden within the chasm are beyond mere mortals. Maybe that's the reason why the exploration took a toll on me, as I'm not blessed with a vision. But I cannot still help... Uh, I can't I can't keep wondering if those famed adventurers like Leonard, Leonard, Stanley, and Rold have ever witnessed the same marvel as I. The stone halls of old crawling into the darkness, the dark purple mud gushing out like lava, the translucent azure crystals floating in the air, the damaged stone tablets carved with maps of ancient places, and so many other indescribable wonders. Would those great adventurers have backed out for fear of danger, or would they have acted recklessly as I persisted and pursuing the inscrutable secrets of the world? even at the cost of the co uh, their common and less dignified lives. I find it funny that she repre uh, she references Leonard, wh who is the originator of the um of of the of the of, of the uh wing gliders from Mondstadt, but Leonard had a vision. <laughs> um I can't wait to find her turn into an abyss monster and we have to be the one to put her out of her misery so she isn't in danger anymore. I would actually prefer that. I would actually really like that. I actually don't care for Zhichao that much. Um, but even if I did, it would it would at least let her, quote-unquote, leave her mark. So, eh. Um, Mr. Khedive, as a scholar and also as a mere mortal like me, what would your choice be in such a circumstance? Uh, Clint, please accept my apology of my previous distrust and willfulness. I don't have it in for you, despite your annoyingly sneaky ways. Treasure hoarder background, impoliteness to Jinwu, lack of hygiene awareness when making drinks, complete disregard to the safety regulation of the ministry, and reluctance to heed our warnings no matter the scenario. In spite of all your faults, I don't think they really matter to me. As your friend, I regret not being able to meet you earlier. Oh. Mooning, I'm sorry, but I won't be reporting you into my post. Thank you for all of your efforts in helping me land a job at the ministry. Without you, I would have been thrown out of the chasm the moment I entered it. Maybe the official offer from the ministry will arrive after my departure. Please keep it for me. I will treat you to dinner if I ever come back, and don't you forget it. Cross, thank you for everything on this trip. You gave me good advice and came to my rescue. For that, I'm forever grateful. It's a shame that I don't know how to repay you, though. As someone blessed by the gods, you're bestowed with elemental powers that will aid you in your adventures. I'm not, though. Although I'll never know the answer, I still wonder how you regard us mere mortals. In the ancient times when heroes in the Yaksha fought alongside Rex Lapis, uh, when colossal boulders were halved to form the mountains, when giant rocks were cast from the skies to create seabed, what was the place of mere mortals like us whom the gods had neither noticed nor recognized? What are our mundane loves and hatreds, mundane happiness and tragedies, mundane achievements and accomplishments, mundane bonds and relationships? Are these all something of no consequence to the eyes of the gods? Are ancient dwellings of the gods and those unfathomable scenes really far beyond the realm of commonplace human courage? It may seem disrespectful to ask these questions when Rex Lapis has only just left us, but... When compared to the Chosen Ones, who have gained the gods' blessings and by chance, what are we mortals unnoticed by the gods to make of ourselves? We've also obtained dreams by chance. We've also keep pursuing them through our busy, burst, bustling lives. We don't want to be forgotten. And for that, we strive hard to make even the slightest of difference or hang tough through laborious work every day with the courage of an ordinary human. 
Are all of these acts of no meaning? Think of those herb gatherers who dangle from the top of cliffs. Miners who work day in day out despite the potential threat of earthquakes. Workers who drive every nail into a giant ship multiple floors in height. If their hard work is dismissed as mundane and unworthy of remembrance, I can't but help uh, question the gods' logic to favor some of our wishes and dignity over others. With such questions in mind, I follow you to the uncertainty and the danger in the depths of the chasm, pushing my limit as a mere mortal. I won't say that I've conquered or explored the area, but I, at least I can put the chasm into the map that I drew in Edvin. I want to mark the places that I've been to and the varying sceneries in the chasm with names that belong to mortals, names that belong to me. For lack of a smarter solution, I believe that this is the only way to inspire those who came after me. Uh, and Relectus, Yahoo, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Ah, rubber. <laughs> One, I want to tell them how far, two, someone who has not been chosen by the gods can go, three, and what stories she may leave behind, four, do not worry about me, five, my journey has only just begun, Whew. once I'm done taking a breather, I will march deeper in, thank you for helping me clear the path ahead, I will continue venturing into the depths of the chasm until my strength fails me, good luck my teammates, and I hope that we shall meet again on our journeys in the near future, so all, all she did was give us the map that we've already got. Except Mark, the original base camp, the uh, the, the the Pillar of Celestia, the, the core of Celestia that broke down and led to Celestia itself, and the big mushrooms, which all of which we've discovered. This doesn't even unlock anything new for us. It, it's great that it gives closure to the character, that it acts as a sense of finality, and I, 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 my heart goes out for her, but also she's kind of like, uh, I don't like her very much regardless. I don't know. When do we find her body? Yeah, that's the real question now, isn't it? Jinwoo, we found this. All right, all right, relax. What did we find? Well, does it have anything to do with Ji Chong's whereabouts? So she left behind a letter and she says that she's actually going deeper to the chasm. Thank you. Let me see what she's written real quick. Jinwoo reads the letter carefully. This girl. I've never really considered issues this big, so I can't really criticize her life choices, but perhaps. Perhaps I didn't acknowledge her discovery in time or give her as much respect or understanding as I should have. She needs to be turned into an abyss monster and become a world boss. Yes, please. Weekly boss, even, maybe. Either or. I'm okay with either. It would have been immeasurably more difficult to complete our exploration without her maps, but I only showed concern for her health instead of focusing on her hard work and what she'd done so much to achieve. I didn't have... How did I not realize that her work was always different from that of us miners? She just doesn't want to be forgotten. Well, don't we all, as people who aren't favored by the gods, don't we all? But has anyone been as obsessed as her? Yeah, she's too obsessed, is the problem. And yet, when I think about the moment when I gave up any thoughts of becoming great, when I realize I've gotten used to living day-to-day -day ordinary day, I just feel like I don't have the right to judge her. I mean... You're, you're, you're right, but also fuck you. <laughs> you're right, but also fuck you. <laughs> Thank you for helping me finish my epic poem. Take this copy of my manuscript as thanks. This carries both my emotions and ambitions. Please take it. It's what little I can do to repay you. Oh, shit. That's also an achievement. I, I, I was going to tell him about... Wait. Why do I have two manuscripts? Uh, that. She feels like she wants to be more and more, more denied and feels jealous for all the wrong reasons. Mm, I can see that. I do feel like maybe she's, um, she definitely feels like one of those people that like feels slighted in something and then begins to wallow in it. Right? Like, <laughs> Uh, like, like some people wallow in their own misery, which, uh, you know, everyone's, everyone's got the right to do that. If you feel like that's something that helps you cope and deal with life. If, if, if wallowing in your misery gets you through the day, you got to do what you got to do. Um, but also that's incredibly unhealthy. And I feel like that's what she's doing. She's just wallowing in her own misery. It's mm, not a big fan. 
Um, okay. With the purple books and the blue books, I've also got enough to level 90. I don't know if I'll be able to get both her and Shinobu up to 90 uh, all in one go, though. It'll depend on how many other resources I managed to build up in that time. Um, I knew a guy who did that once. He just became really obnoxious. Yeah, that's probably why most of us find... Uh, uh, not Jinwoo. Uh, 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 like, fuck. I, I, I already forget her name because I, I, I dislike her that much. Ji Chang? It's Ji Chang. The, I hope, like... Like, oh, we don't even get to keep her letter. Oh, no, it is here. Ji Chang. We do get to keep her letter. I think that's why, uh, like, most people that I've... Uh, like, most people seem to dislike Ji Chang. I know I dislike Ji Chang. I don't think there's anything really interesting or likable about her. Uh, I don't even think of her as tragic. I, I think she's just unlikable. I think she's just genuinely unlikable. Oh, I don't have enough for Amber. And I can't pull. Because I've got guaranteed Yellen. Ah! My Amber will have to stay at C4. Feels bad. Tome of Talisman. Tainer's Gift. Valor's Afterglow. Mm -hmm. Do I have any... Uh... Omni Ubiquity Nets left. No, I just need four more. And then I'm... Time to pull on the standard banner? <laughs> standard? No, I can't. Look, look, look. I've got guarantee. However. However. Um, one. Two. I'm exactly two pages. So 12 pulls. In after, uh, in after me getting the Chi-Chi Constellation. Because I, I figured... Yeah, okay, Ayaka's coming up, and so is, uh, that's great and all, but uh, I could really use a Raiden Constellation, so I, I kept pulling for it anyway without spending money. Didn't get it, so I'm currently at 72 pulls into pity total, and that's not even soft pity yet. Let bald Zali convince you, bruh. I will do one standard banner pull. I will do one standard banner pull. Just for the meme. Alright. How many do we need? Uh, we need nine more. So theoretically, we'd have to get... You know what? I will do two standard banner pulls. We will pull two five stars that we have Constellation 6 right now. And we will get that Amber Constellation. Alright? Okay? We're all in agreement? <laughs> Just pull a four or five star forehead. Hey! Whoa! Hold up! Well, that's C6 Razor now. So, the good note is that that's C6 Razor. I actually have been at C5 forever. So, this is actually Poggies. This is actually really Poggies. Alright. Hold up. We'll pull, we'll pull, okay, okay. Now we pull two more four stars of C6s that we've already had. Or we pull a five star and we'll get our Amber Constellation, okay? All right? All right? That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Easy clap. Easy clap. Four star, five star. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, one last pull. <laughs> one last pull. Just, just, just one. Just one last pull, right? I just need... <laughs> if we just get one four star... That we already have a C6 on, we have exactly enough to get an Amber Con. Alright? Just one last pull. Fuck you. One last pull. <laughs> one last pull for the meme. Alright, we, we're, we're stopping here. We're stopping here. We're stopping here. Ah, uh, okay. Enough meme pulls. Look, I gotta reward myself every once in a while, alright? I gotta reward myself. Gamer Smiles, shut up! <laughs> That's why I stopped myself, alright? Alright, totally not because I just ran out of primos. Totally not just because I ran out of primos. That's also why I buy the Into Twine Fates, so I don't, I don't get tempted to do things like that. How high on Copium are you? Look, I just got a C6 Razor out of nowhere, alright? I was feeling high, okay? Alright? At least there were singles and not full-ass head pulls, okay? Alright? Alright, okay? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. 
Uh, it, look, 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 look. It could be worse. I, God, look how close I am to AR-60, by the way. <laughs> whale? <laughs> oh, yeah, whale for spending your free, to, uh, your, your free primos, yeah. Look how close I am to AR-60. The worst part is that's not even a single pull. You get, they get three pulls, but they're for the fucking standard banner. You get two fragile resin, which is all right. 30 weapon or worthless. 21 purple EXP books. Bruh. Just gi like give us a proper end game reward. You should give us enough weapon or to level 91 one five star weapon and level 91 character. The two fragile resin at that point would be totally fine. Like everything else would be fine if you gave us enough weapon enhancement or and heroes wits. But no. But no. It is. It is what it is. They're not a whale. They've just been playing since lunch. I mean, I I dolphin. I do I do swipe here and there, but like it's not like I pay for every banner and like every whatever. I do buy the battle pass every time. Uh, I, I don't think I've passed. Uh, I don't think I've ever skipped Welkins. Cross is a thousand percent a whale. Yeah, a whale by quote unquote. I spend money on the game. <laughs> a whale by the by by the bare minimum requirement of spending money on the game uh, beyond battle pass. You could you could technically take someone that has done a single top up and call them a whale. By uh, technically, yeah, it's, uh, whaling is such a like such such a such a like uh, uh, such a awkward term. Time whale. Okay, that's entirely viable. Whaling, like like if you if like I am pay to win in Genshin when it comes to pay time to it i i've spent way too much time in this game like fuck i spent five bucks on the welkin moon we are not the same <laughs> like for me once i have characters i want to build characters i don't know how you could ever build characters if you don't buy the battle pass um like i used to buy i, I used to like religiously work on the battle pass on the alt account as well as well as buy the battle pass. I haven't bought the battle pass on the alt in three patches. I pretty much don't even spend my resin anymore on the alt account. I just get primos and I just get the fuck out. Genuinely, I just I just, I just get my primos and I get out. Because like, this is an alt. It just exists to build up primos for pulls. So that I can have fun with it. Don't build characters ahead. Don't ahead me. Ray, 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 you have so many characters. And you don't build any of them. It it hurts. It hurts. What's your favorite patch? 1.6. As anyone with culture would. 1.6 was the best patch in the game. Adventure time. Honestly, 1.6, like, unironically was the best patch. There was always, like, a thing to do and a thing to explore in it. And, like, it actually, it, like, 1.6 was the worst for me. I mean, I can also see the argument for that, but you're wrong, kid. Yeah, no, 1.1 was the worst patch in Genshin history. No, well, mm. I believe technically 1.4 slash 1.5 take. No, what? 1.4 was uh, what was the Windbloom Festival? So no, 1.5 was I believe the driest patch in all of Genshin Impact so far. At least 1.6 came with content. At least 1.6 came with content. 1.5 was dog shit. Adventure like, time. so many people quit because of 1.5. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't get too close. Because 1.6 was what I was moving, so I had to play Genshin. Yeah, see, that's a niche situation that doesn't necessarily count. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily count, in my opinion. I think that's fair because of your life situation. 
But uh, yeah, that's not that's not a reason why you can say 1.6 was well. Yeah, it it was the worst for you in your situation. But like, in a yeah, 1.6 was good. 1.6 was really good. Even when I got my PC back, 1.6 was still kind of bad. Look, you missed like you missed like the majority of 1.6. You had to like rush through it. I'm sure. So uh, I don't know. I feel like at least 1.6 all it, like felt different enough from everything else that we had been doing up to that point, that I feel like it was really worth it. Mm. I don't know. 1.6 was, 1 .6 was like one of my favorite, if not my favorite patch. I mean, it's hard to beat 2.0. I can't say 1.6 was better than 2.0, because 2.0 gave us all of Inazuma. <laughs> Dragon Spy made me quit the game. No, no, okay. I, like, I don't understand how people hate Dragon Spy. I, I understand how people hate the sheer cold mechanic. Adventure time. But when Dragon Spy first came out, my mind was blown. Dragon Spy was amazing. It was a new exploration zone. It had, it had a, it, 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 it had a regional mechanic that made you kind of, like, actually think a little um you have to like it, it, it's 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 a harsh weather environment so you have to adjust your team accordingly it felt like it, it, it was immersive Adventure sheer time. yeah sheer cold is bothersome it's not a bad mechanic there's so many ways to circumvent sheer cold Off we go. there's so many ways to circumvent sheer cold that it's uh, i don't know I, I like I, I I like I I don't like sheer cold in abyss. I I a thousand percent. I a thousand percent get behind the uh, the hate of sheer cold in abyss. Sheer cold in abyss was a was a was a was a it it it, it, it was beyond gimmicky. Sheer cold in abyss. Yeah, sheer cold builds up so slowly. Like I don't. Not only that, but I would just get like a healer. And I'll just heal through sheer cold. You could just heal through Thank sheer cold. Doing. A Barbara, a Chi Chi. You could just you could just heal through it. Like it, it really wasn't even a problem. Like genuinely. Like if the problem was like exploring the overworld while sheer cold is gone, I don't know. I I, I had zero problem. Keep in mind, during that, I was super underleveled and lacked characters. I mean, literally, literally, you could sacrifice a little bit of overall team DPS carrying Amber in your team, just so you can light up heat sources. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I, 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 don't, I don't, like, when you explore, sometimes you have to, like, adjust things. For example, like, oh, do you see, like, an air pillar that you need for, like, a thing? You're gonna swap characters for it. Let's not lie to ourselves. If you got a suit crush, you're gonna whip that out. If you're stuck on Animal Traveler, you're gonna whip that out. If you've got, if you, if you're lucky and have venters, you're gonna whip him out, or he's already in your team. Like, that's why I quit. I, like, it's, 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 it's like barely even an inconvenience. Check this out. Rain outlines your face. Let me weave you. I don't know. I, I, I don't personally get it. Let me play who I want. Yeah, that's fine. You can choose three characters that you want to play. You you just have to make sure you, you just have to make sure the fourth is a pyro. That's not like that is genuinely not that is genuinely not a big deal. <laughs> but Lime, thank you for the follow. Like le, like I I 100% get behind the a a adage of let me play who I want, right? But you know you have four Astra. character slots. Thank you for coming. I, 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 that, that doesn't track with me. Genuinely, genuinely doesn't track with me. What pyro characters? The game literally gives you a pyro character to start with if you need it for mechanical reasons. Amber is not a great character, but you can use her for like the world interaction stuff just fine. I used Amber for like the longest time. I actually like, I, I, I think I have my Amber at like level 60. Let me show you. I, I literally ran with Amber even even when I didn't need her just because like she was just so useful in the overworld. 
I didn't build her. I just leveled her up because she was helping me out so much. Yeah, you, you and that's the thing. You could you could have left Amber at level one. She was still would have functioned just fine. Because all you're using her is to start fires. Exactly. You like building characters. I hate it. I just want to explore, do story. You literally can't do story if you don't build characters to get through content. So, uh, we like oh please, Golden Apple Archipelago rerun. Oh, please, Mahoyo, rerun Golden Apple Archipelago. I'm, like, begging you. But, like, let me go with, like, 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 with, with like, the Inazuma and the Leeway characters this time. No, like, level 40. Yeah. I, I, I did take Amber to level 40. <laughs> Which, uh, and, and, and she ran me just fine. She, she helped with everything that I needed her to do. Which is why I do it as little as possible. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Understandable. It's, it, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, wow. I have so much cloth. <laughs> I don't need that much cloth. What am I going to do with all that cloth? All right. However, I am, um, out of Genshin. Unless I want to do, uh, the Iridori Festival on one go in the alt. Which I'm kind of on board for. I'd like to experience it all in one go without stopping. Let's do it. Because I'll probably have to do it a third time if, uh, if, if, if Equinox can't get through it in time. Because he's been busy this week. Um, and he's, uh, <laughs> only like a week, week and a half left to do it. <laughs> I might as well get the primos, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Ba, 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 ba. I did, um, I didn't do the Abyss yet on the alt, but I did go and unlock the teleport point and a little bit around the map just to take care of the photo the photography event. Um, wait. Yeah, just let me do a quick start. <laughs> let me ignore your prerequisite events game. <laughs> All right. I'm also going to point out to Equinox later that that was a thing that he could have done. <laughs> he could have just hit quick start. Uh, he, 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 did, he, he did the Ayata quest. <laughs> I, I didn't even, like, I didn't even know. I didn't, like, like, I knew that you could do, like, a quick start, but I thought you just had to not pick up the Ayata quest. Uh, but apparently, instead, you were supposed to hit quick start specifically. On the uh, on the thing, it was in the lower left corner. Uh, Equi and Equinox calls me blind. Come on, let's go. And Egg Boy calls me blind. Well, jokes on you, bitch. Eggs don't have eyes. Alright, what squad? There's a requester who has submitted a designated two squats. commission for the two of you. A designated commission. Three squats. Sounds like it must be pretty important. Four squats. Uh, what kind of task Five squats. is it exactly? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> There's no need to worry. This commission is not dangerous by any means. Perhaps you have heard that Inazuma will soon be holding a major festival. The magnificent <sighs> Iodori Festival. It wasn't the lower left corner. Oh, or the, like it was, it, it was like one of the left corners. Upper or lower. I, I don't remember. It was in one of the it was in one of the corners. And Lady Yai are responsible for all the festival. And it's that prerequisite quest, and I'm like, ah, I don't have that. Oh, Irie! Thank you for the sub. Oh fuck, it's on it's on Thursday. Ah, thank you one. Ah, two squats. Ooh, three squats. Ooh, four. Ooh, five. Ooh, can I get a shout out for Irie? But how are you? How's your day going? Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> You know you're me, doing girl. well. She Ma, always welcome, has some welcome. unusual ideas in her head. You can bet a festival plan by <sighs> her is gonna be one to remember. Ooh. We'd better go to Grand Narukami Shrine and see what hey, she needs to do. Hey, you. <laughs> Lady Yai is currently wow. at Yai Publishing okay. House. I'm, I'm a little too warm now. I gotta take so off my. Because uh, no I'm, 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 I'm wearing, I'm, I'm wearing like a fact, shirt and then like a little, not a jacket, meet with but like a, like like a thick flannel. Let's like then. over shirt over it uh house cross i'm doing good -y. i'm doing good i'm 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 i was gonna i was gonna try and uh 
preserve content for myself. So I was uh, leaving the story content on the alt, but I'm just gonna go. I'm just, I'm just gonna power through it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna treat myself to. Whoa! What? Did, what? Did, what the fuck did I get stuck on? Sweater, Awuka. <laughs> Not quite a sweater. So I, I, I just had like a like t-shirt and like like a flannel. Not quite jacket. Definitely not thick enough to be called a jacket. But it's more like. We have already received It's like it's like it's like it's like a. in place for Shogun Almighty Reborn. It's just an extra layer that normally I'd wear like in fall, but I'm also in Canada now and it's kind of cold here. And what about Despite being April. Hell, it literally snowed two days ago. <laughs> Blazer? Mm, close? I don't... I... Oh, uh, yes, Lady Yai. Everything is ready for the new issue release party. Uh, like... You are the one oh. who organized the plans for this release party. In other words... No, knowing now that now. Jing Chu is so with please, Onodera right now, confidence? practicing signatures, um, Besides, I just find this funny now. no need to be nervous. This project because is uh, because now success. now now you understand like the other things going on behind the scenes I shall and everything stands out the next somehow. Of days, Please take the opportunity to have a good rest. After all, you will be very busy on the day of the release party. Yes, Lady Yai. Thank you very much. Uh, what non-announced characters are you looking up? Uh, all right, then. Looking is up to roll non-announced. Hmm, what, what do you mean non-announced? We're running out of time, so let's get moving. Chop chop. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you mean by non-announced ah, characters. Hello, little ones. I take it you have received my commission, hmm? Some organizer you are. It's nearly time for the festival, and you're still over here ramping things up for your light novel business. Shouldn't you be getting back to the Grand Narukami? The shrine? fact that she took a national Even cultural heritage festival, festival and turned it into a festival for you? books. Oh, like so, characters that appear in the it. manga. Won't such mm. a commission. I am curious about si uh I believe his name his name is Sino from Sumeru. The guy that looks like a Nubis. I'm very curious about that one. Um Whoa, light flicker what's happening? My my, such harsh words. It hurts to hear that kind of talk from you two. But as you Judging from the see, purple, I would guess like he'd be an electro character. But his flash art make, it makes him look like he's Let kicking up dirt, you, and people ones. are surmising that he's also Whoever possibly said Geo. That the, festival must involve the, Grand the Z Nine fighting? <laughs> huh? But isn't that a given? This is Inazuma after all. Yes, that is true. But now that the Sokoku decree has been lifted, Inazuma is no longer the same nation that once resisted change to I think he's Pyro. Another Pyro Pole Arm user. Rather than sticking to the same old traditional <laughs> festival, I hope he's not Pyro. Commission and I have decided to shake things up a little. This time we'll be holding an international cultural festival. We already have Zhang Ling, Toma, and Hu Tao as Pyro Pole Arms. I'm hoping for um, I'm hoping for Electro, or Geo, either or, or Hydro. I I, I want a Hydro Polearm user, please. I was so excited for Ayato, thinking that he was gonna be Hydro Polearm by the way the game was describing things about him. <laughs> but it was a, it was a red herring. He's just a sword user. Of the Iridori Festival. Huh. <clears throat> Legend has it that there were five poets in ancient Inazuma who were supremely gifted in singing and writing poetry. Yeah, we're finally gonna get a Hydro Polearm at one point, and it's gonna be the fucking Archon. Every year, one of the five would present a collection of the group's Liter Literally, our first Hydro Polearm is gonna be the Hydro Archon. We're never gonna get a Hydro Polearm until then. And we'll never That's get a Hydro Claymore user. Inazuma's never. Culture blossomed Zero percent. And gained great influence at that time. <laughs> As time passed... People began creating various tales based on the five Kasan. The Iridori Festival was also developed. Sino has a red ornament on his belt. Ah, are people works, guessing that that might so actually be his um our lives. his vision? Sounds like a festival that's really rooted in. It's culture. sideways, so we don't know if it's a vision or not. Mm. Indeed. On one hand, it's to possible that it's it just uh it's just a trinket. On the other hand, it's also possible that it could be a vision. 
We'll find out. Unfortunately, with the flow of Looks time, like a vision to me. People mm -hmm. have gradually mm -hmm. forgotten about the five costumes. Usually, though, festival. visions are pretty visible in people's splash arts. Which is precisely so the fact why that it's not I decided visible. to revive the Iridori Festival by holding a cultural I think is because they purposely just novels. edited a vision specifically out of his uh, of his teaser uh, of his teaser splash art. So I think that when his uh, splash art officially comes out, they'll uh, they'll effect uh, effectively paste his uh, paste his vision back into it. You DM'd it to me. All right, give me a second. Um, are you talking about the center of his belt buckle? Because that just looks like a buckle to me. That doesn't look like a vision. It it is it is red. But um. Uh, it, it, it just looks like a belt buckle. It doesn't look like a vision belt buckle. I think they're gonna effectively edit in his, uh, his vision once he's, like, officially announced slash released. Um, that's my two cents, though. It looks like a clear gem. It does look a bit... It, it does. It does. But, uh... It could, it could just be a gem. <laughs> Please stop looking at me with those I don't think it's impossible. Expressions. I certainly don't In think it's impossible. Times, but most splash arts tend to make uh, the tend to make uh, vision somewhat clear. The important thing most is not of them. the format, but the creative work itself. It is impossible to. It depends on uh, if that's the Sumer vision shape. That, that's that's the thing. The past. We truly don't know. Speaking of which. Don't you think that the concept of focusing on the now perfectly suits the current Inazuma? <laughs> and besides, it's a great opportunity to reintroduce Inazuma to all to that through light novels. As they say, it's two birds with one stone. This is a lot of thinly veiled self justification, yay. Oh, that was close. Paimon was nearly carried away by Miko's persuasive tongue. Yay, yeah, Miko, just trying to make a profit out of the Miko. world. You can't. Bless. We know you by now. This is all definitely stemming from your own personal interest. Definitely a mix of both. <laughs> I can't deny that my hobbies had no part to play in this. However, regardless of whether it's light novels or a festival, catching people's attention with a fresh concept is the essence here. Mm. Well, what do you say? Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might see at the festival? Yeah. Uh, maybe a little. Oh, all right. Paimon's super curious now. <laughs> <laughs> Come, let's pay a visit to the venue and reach. Oh no, together. it's the official. Uh, it's the official uh, teaser. The festival. Teva chapters preview. There yeah. we'll meet a special someone who will tell you more about your tasks. Here, wait. Um. Genshin chapter. Preview. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Audio. One second. Uh, where is my display capture? So. One important thing to note is that they did, before the game released, they did have a Teva chapter storyline preview travail, which effectively gave all of us players the, um, the twins, yes, Charoza, Yahoo, how you doing cutie, welcome, welcome, Mwah. hope you're having a good day, they, uh, they did give us the timeline of the release of everything, right, not like with exact dates, but the order, so the war has already begun. Travelers, it is just come a continuation to of past battles. The gods goad us on with the promise of their these flowers. Treasures. We now know are Rewards only from Conria, therefore the now can only them. exist in the abyss. Yet buried in the depths of this world lies smoldering remains. Yeah, this is the this is the timeline that, that we're working trespass. with. That throne in the sky is not reserved for you. But mortal irrigation never stops. None will escape the flames. See for yourself. The so, dragon. prologue, which 
Mondstadt, as we have all experienced. You defended Mondstadt for a millennium. Let's be honest, the main character of Mondstadt was a mix between Venti what and Diluc. Really mean when demanded of you by a god. This, you know, this makes sense. They show off Diluc. The god of contracts. So, originally, people think that uh, Ningua was meant to be a five star. Um, and they tuned down her kit instead to make her four star to make her a lot more achievable because, well, um, having Geo Traveler and Noel be the only Geo starting characters kind of felt bad. Senselessly slaughtered as his people uh, because in the end, Ningguang, he will sign even as a four star, she's pretty cracked. Yeah, all contracts. See, okay. It's obvious that she's got her vision there, right? It, it is at a slant, but it's, it's it's definitely obvious that she's got her vision. In the secluded land of the immortal Shogun, the Bakufu rules eternal. But what do mortals see of the eternity chased by them? Ayaka's very body? obvious that she's ice, but in return she doesn't show her vision. Because all those characters were self-determined beforehand. Right? The they, they, they pretty much had it is built, itself. quote unquote. And the oasis of knowledge is a mirage in the desert of ignorance. A lot of people. In the city of scholars, there is a push for folly. When they saw like all the sand here, a lot of people are like, oh, it's going to be a geopolar music. But I'm sitting there like, I mean, they just mentioned that it's sandy. I just think it's just sand in the background. From the color scheme. It screams Electro. Literally, this... He, okay. I'm gonna say it. Sino looks like Razor Plus. Aesthetically, Sino just looks like the next Digi evolution for Razor. Fight me. <laughs> it's just, just, just age up Razor and feed him proper food and you, you've got Sino. <laughs> So like there are a lot of people talking about how they like Sino was gonna be like Geo whatever, but I uh and uh, uh Kawali, Yahoo, welcome to the stream. How you doing, cutie? Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. And Chibi Shao, Yahoo. Hope you're doing well. How are you? Um. Does Ningguang's vision look similar to his belt thing? It's possible. Okay, hold up. D Luke is super obviously fire. I don't think there was any question for that. Ningguang looked like Geo to begin with, and she does have the little vision there. Uh, but you can see traces of symbols. You can see traces of symbols on it. Um, Ayaka uh, doesn't need to show anything because she's obviously cryo. There's literally ice in the background, right? Um, yeah, this looks too thick to be a vision to me. I, I, I don't I don't think yeah I don't think that's his vision I don't think that's his vision I think his vision is elsewhere and, and uh, is Sino pyro uh he could be it's not impossible right literally the character hasn't even released yet we will we'll never know until until it officially releases um but also Tom Tom little shit Tuh. little fuck little cute bitch Mwah. just fucking remember little rat boy I fucking love you, bitch. Mwah. I love you, bitch. Drung. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. <laughs> Cute fucker. <Mwah. laughs> it's uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's probably out of our line of sight. Argument against. So we know that Sumeru's next, both from us playing the game right now, and here's the timeline. It's almost like they planned this all ahead of time. They, 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 they have, like, the big story beats planned. They, they definitely don't have every single little step along the way, like, hammered out, but... Justice lives for the spectacle of the court. I am super excited for, for 4.0. Fontaine. Fontaine is the region that, personally, I am the most fucking curious about. Because it is supposed to be justice. And, and, it is supposed to be, um... It is supposed to be, like, Industrial Revolution France. But magic the fuck up in an isekai. Seeking to judge all other gods. I'm super excited for it. But even she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. And the twins. Okay, they say twins. 
I don't know if they're actually related. <laughs> we'll never know until they take off the hat if they're even vaguely related, eh? Um, also, Fontaine has to be steampunk. Yo, please. I want steampunk with the splash of magic. I want it so bad. Um, however, 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 what I, uh, what I really want to know is, A, will this be the first quote-unquote dual character? Because how cool would it be if, uh, you hit an ult and then you swap characters back and forth. Every time you build up an ult, you can swap characters or something like that. Watch them be run separate. Please don't do this to me. I want them to be packaged as like the first dual character unit. That's what I, I want that so bad. That would be so much more interesting. Right? I know, I know they're going to drain my wallet and, 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 and have two separate characters. I know. Child 3.0. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. We have Tartalia, who's Child 1.0. We have Ayaka. Ayato, sorry. Child 2.0. And then we'll have the twins, which will be Child 3.0. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I want them as a package deal like the Honkai twins. That'd be real neat. That'd be really neat. I, I I love I love the uh I love the, like the the Phantom Thief aesthetic going on right now the 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 the, the magic parlor trick slash like 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 I I have a feeling that the travel is gonna get caught up in their shenanigans or hijinks they're gonna steal some important shit um imagine if they were elements that don't work together um that'd be interesting because hear me out hear me out. What if these two characters, despite having elements that don't normally work together, for example, she could be Animo. Well, actually, well, you say that, but like she could be Animo, he could be Pyro for the f for for all the fucking color scheme says, right? But if if they had like opposing elements, Animo and Geo, for just for the sake of an example, what if they they're the first characters to, to get like non uh, non explicit elemental reactions, specifically because they are a pack deal. Right? Like, if, they, if this was Animo Geo and they're the only characters that can get an Animo Geo elemental, like, situation, that'd be, that'd be really neat. It's not great that they'd be the only ones, in theory, right? But that, that'd still be neat. Going back to Sino, he doesn't look like he has anywhere to put a vision other than the belt. I mean, I think with Sino, it's probably just on his other side. It could be, it could be on the back of his wrist, like it is for Xiao. Or it could be on the other side of his headpiece. There's plenty of places his vision could be hiding. In before they share a vision. Actually, that'd be neat. I, I'd be okay with that. I, I'd be okay with them them vision sharing. Not to I don't see a problem with that. Of the divine. I don't see an issue with that at all, though. Or the back the of his coat somewhere. It's possible. In the, the victors shall burn bright. Okay. Only, only two reasons why I'm curious about Pyre Nation of Natlin at all. A, it's where the uh, the Ragnavinder clan of uh, Diluc originates from. A, and B, apparently, in the lore of Tabot, boxing originates from Natlin. While the losers boxing must turn to ash. When the god of war shares this secret with the traveler. C please. Give us. Give us a fist character. Let. Could it, why can't this girl just punch the fuck. Out of us. Natlin has to be American. Natlin is supposed. Like. People are. People are talking about it. Natlin is more of like Native America. But can I can I just say listen to this music? The victors shall burn bright while the losers. That click clack click clack. Uh, uh wh wh what's it called? N is it tango? Is it the flamingo? The, the like the the, the the they've got the little the little clicky clacky samba, samba. Yes. Um. I, th I feel like it's very possible it's like Latin America, like the, the, the Central and Southern Latin America inspired as much as it is Native American. I think, I, well, technically they are the Americas. It's all Native America. You know, there's a lot of variety in Native America. Um, Samba, I heard Samba. Yeah, listen to the music. Listen to the music. 
the rules of Listen war to the music. are woven in the womb. The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. When the god of war shares this secret with the traveler, it is because she has her reasons. It'll probably be like Sumeru, where it's like two different reasons slapped together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is a god with no love left for her people, nor do they have any left for her. Her followers hope only to be on her side when the day of her rebellion against the divine comes at last. So people are saying that this is supposed to be like the first Fatui Harbinger, uh, rather than the uh, Shinaznayan Queen, and I believe it. Um, I, 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 I believe that they purposely left the uh, character face blank because they've got zero fucking idea of a character for Shinaznaya at the moment. And they want to leave themselves creative leeway. So, definitely, um, yeah. The instrument is called Casta Flue uh, uh, Fluelas. Oh, it's salsa, I believe. Ah, salsa. In the perpetual meantime of a sheltered eternity, most are content to live and not to dream. But in the hidden corners where the god's gaze does not fall, there are those who dream of dream. Dream of dream. Some say yeah. a few are Conria. chosen and the rest So Conria will be the conclusion. But I say we humans have our humanity. We will defy this world with a power from beyond. Now, you who has set foot in this world. Your journey has reached its end, but one final doorway remains. I think that's a Harbinger too. I don't think a Sarita will be wearing clown Death shoes. If you have understood the meaning of your journey. Also, Mahoyo. Oh, male traveler isn't the canonical traveler. Also, <laughs> also uses male traveler as the actual traveler in all of their fucking uh, public content. Oh whoa! <laughs> it's 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 kind of a it's kind of a load of bullshit. All right, I shouldn't I shouldn't watch this video, but uh, I also saw this on my feed. I'm. Revealed the character and I'm, Roman banners I'm, of Ayaka. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious. So I think it's what other people's about opinions her. about Ayaka, Ayaka are right now. Ayaka had a lot of hype when she first came out because of her baby. Me who chose Lumine because I want, uh, uh, I went with the oh, I'm a girl, I'm a choose the girl. <laughs> I don't think it matters. I think that's the point that Mahoya is making. It doesn't matter whether you choose a male or female traveler. It's your story. Who gives a shit? Her first rerun, and we've had a lot of time since her release to see what Ayaka offers. It's a chance to reevaluate how much value she has. I, I really want Ayaka. For Ayaka I genuinely you. really want Ayaka. But Yellen. But if you're on the but side, Yellen. Especially with Ayaka oh, about mommy. End, then hopefully this video can you don't have her? No. I, um... With that, let's talk so, okay. I know it might sound sacrilege. But, um... Oh, wait. This isn't my, uh... This isn't my main account right now. Um... When it came between choosing her and Yoimiya, I chose waifu over meta. Yoimiya is better waifu. I will fight anyone. Um, but Ayaka is definitely much more meta. And RCDA, Yahoo, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. A lot of field time, but rather she prefers tighter rotations that make the best use of her. She's got so much fucking old damage. I ha! I want it. One, enable melt or reverse. I want it so bad. She does so much ult damage. The standard template of two cryos, one hydro, and one animal. If we're talking about Ayaka, she laughs at having no Genshin waifus. Her ult damage is huge, right? In a freeze calm. Like she, 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 she like in a shorter time frame. Yuma, can DPS harder. Ayaka's okay, but her whole thing of dash hold, attack, Yuma dash hold, attack is kind of meh. Her damage is crazy, but when I'm playing her, stamina consumption is... Ah, I see, I see. <gasps> Dandelily! Yahoo, it's been a long time. So the real choices were adorable little fucker. Little Ayaka cute bitch. You better have been taking care of yourself, you adorable little shit. Mm, welcome to the stream. Mwah. Motherfucker. Mwah. Have you been taking care of yourself? Huh? Eat some goody food. Mwah. Getting plenty of water. Mwah. Plenty of rest. Little cute bitch. Mwah. Fucking number. Little shit. Mwah. Motherfucker. But I fucking love you, bitch. Mwah. And I never gonna stop loving you. Mwah. But how you doing, Dandelily? How are ya? 
and for other How are you? So you're unlikely to encounter a problem with her stealing away much needed supports. Her most common synergies. You have to reset her cry autos when they run out. You kind of have no, no, no. You, it lasts long enough that if you time it right, I'm sure what Rubber is saying. You dash. Those Three normal charge attacks. Very valuable number in vape and it gives you enough to do that, I think. Um, and Tom, ah, uh, fucking Tom's on like, I'm gonna do squats! And if you manage to get Ayato, he and I really, yeah, her E should also reset her cryo What? It should also do that, too. In terms of end game Three. content, these points mean that you Four. have more flexibility to build a second Five. team in Spiral Abyss without being Ooh, forced to Dandel decide to, to, to leave my job, Ayo? Hopefully it's all on... Darby, think of it a folly. Hopefully it's all on a good note good and that everything's step, okay. I hope, uh, I, I hope, uh, I hope you good luck in finding something new. And, uh, also, plenty of downtime. Make sure you get plenty of rest. Constellations are absolutely not not needed and for her weapon choice you simply need the confusion last six seconds dash and fuse three normals then charge attack and then dash to refuse uh refresh the infusion mm. a lot of char stamina or a, a recharge stamina during attack definitely ah or four piece heart of depth will likely be part yeah her dash her dash do be kind of she's an excellent elemental dashes do be kind of garbo looking to see the camisato slap in action i will say though i'm very curious at other elemental dashes I want to see other elemental dashes. Because an animal dash, theoretically, would be like a cloud. You, you, maybe it would fix the issue of you clipping into things on the ground. Worth it. Maybe, may, you maybe it actually be worth something. Top five -star cryo DPSs, and if you and hungry, them, uh, hungry Anna, Ma, Yahoo, welcome to the stream. Indeed. How you doing, cutie? All right, so we have uh, uh, quite uh, the compelling uh, reasons uh, to get her. Mama, why would you skip oh, the Well, the first obvious reason is, of course, you have your heart and Primo set out for another wife or husband. In that case, Ayaka Stop hopping, hopium, shut up. But other than that, a fox can dream, goddammit. Understanding what her potential caveats are and if It'll still get stuck on the rock. Shut up! Taste, I'm a lot of dream. <laughs> I mentioned that cryo units. I believe. And melt and freeze teams. However, Ayaka I believe. Has also come to play in a reverse melt team. Her cryo hits fast and hard, easily destroying most overworld enemies and speed runs against single wave enemies. However, because no, I think it's fuck you. Has standard <laughs> cooldowns, reverse melt reactions won't come as frequently. You can still do some reverse melts with Ayaka, but considering her ICD and that she practically has no off-field cryo application, she's much more ideally built for freeze and mono cryo teams. No, that's the one reason that I actually want Ayaka. It's the one reason I actually want Ayaka is that I really want to have like a proper freeze team unit that does really good damage. I have Ganyu, so if I wanted to build freeze, I could build around Ganyu, but my my Ganyu is already built for melt, and I'm too lazy to swap artifacts every single time I need it for Abyss. It's not happening. All right, it's not. And I have her best in slot sword. But Yellen is mommy, alright? Wipe over meta. <laughs> I will wait for another Ayaka rerun. The, the only way that I pull for Ayaka is if somehow I get like... Like if I, if I go out, if I drive out and find like $300 on the ground. That's the only, the only way I'd pull for Ayaka. <laughs> Changyun is so much fun with Ayaka. Changyun is not bad. Um, he does require very specific team setups, but Changyun is pretty decent in general. Whichever you choose will be very good upgrades. And I'm very curious what would happen if I copy pasted a whole Wikipedia. Please don't. Another point is that we mentioned four star counterparts who, while yeah, not as strong as Ayaka, can still assume the role of cryo DPSs in a freeze team and are already highly. I'd rather have Burst Ganyu than Ayaka, and I think that's entirely fair. In the meantime, Ayaka is I feel like Ayaka, uh, Ayaka's playstyle is significantly more fun. I think Ayaka's playstyle is significantly more fun than the Ganyu playstyle. Ganyu doesn't have a playstyle, she has. Uh, shuffle slowly, 
That's a fire bazooka. Like and how limited your primos are. My so gun is phase right now. Hold up, what? Ayaka's gameplay that may Excuse continue, me? Though these may be nitpicking already. Nani? For instance, Ayaka has a lot Fizz of gun? Hold up. her burst, but it only travels in a straight path. So it really needs I'd have to, to log out of targets. the alt account and then log into damage. the main account Let's to check see. your Okay, hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. We're 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 doing that. We're 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 gonna do that. I will do what I must. Give me a second. Ayato is kinda of fun. Ayato looks really fun. My problem is I suffer from a little bit of uh it's pretty minor synesthesia. But uh styrofoam listening to styrofoam fucking hurts. Like physically hurts me. And Ayato Slash gives the same reaction. The same same physique like I I, ugh, I can't do it. I can't do it. And also, I have Tartalia. I don't. I don't need Ayaka. I. I, <laughs> I, 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 I have Tartalia already, and he's C one. So it's like I don't. I don't need. I don't need Ayato. <laughs> it's all right. It's so satire to use in co op. My friend was going to throw hands, and I just sat there and auto. Hold up. I no. I gotta see this. Even though I'm not gonna do it, would you ban me? I. We'd have to time you out. If if you if you copied a whole Wikipedia article in chat. Uh, cause, cause, you know, we, 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 we got rules, alright? This is a society, okay? <laughs> this is a fucking society! Alright, give me a second. Chirosa, what, 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 what madness have you done? Alright, alright, alright. 2.1k attack. 71 crit rate with 225 crit damage. Jesus Christ. Skyward Harp. Alright, everything looks fine so far. Glad and chivalry. Oh no. Teresa, no. Teresa, no. Teresa, why? Says the guy who has war crimes at the top of the screen right now. It's just code for please donate to me. I make less than minimum wage and I'm and I'm hungry. <laughs> Teresa, why? Why? Girl, why you gotta why you gotta hurt me like that? I crit for like 30k per auto so where's D I Ooh. Is it 30k per auto or is it the weapon effect giving you that 30k burst? Uh, that's the real question. Is it the weapon effect or is it Our charge attacks still do like 13k? Yeah, because it's gone you. Because it's Ganyu, and you have 225 crit damage. Oh my god. I'm actually really jealous of Skyward Harps. I, I, I wish I had one for Tatalia. I just laugh showing people it like, what the <laughs> My jealousy, it seethes. Alright. Can't believe you're doing this to me, Chiroza. Alright. How dare you, how, 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 dare, how dare you brag. <laughs> I just want regional offers for kids. Oh my god, please. Like, it doesn't even have to be for all characters. Just give me regional regional account, uh, 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 costumes for Traveler. Fizz Ganyu over Cryo Ganyu. I'm kind of surprised that you didn't go two piece, uh, two, uh, you know, two piece pale, two piece uh, chivalry. I'm kind of surprised that you chose two piece glad. Look at the Genshin chat cross. All right, give me a second. My pale flame luck is bad. Ah, understandable. <gasps> Woo! Look at this. Venti in the Inazuman style. It's just fan art, but look at that. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, wow. oh, I need this in my life! Oh, this isn't fair. Look, we're we're already waiting for Archon skins, alright, Mahoyo? Can can you just like give us something? Where are our skins, Mahoyo? How is it that we're in patch 2.6? 
And we have a total of four skins in the game! <sighs> I follow that artist because I want to commission them. Understandable. Understandable. <laughs> During the Iridori Festival, the area around the Outlander Affairs Agency will become the main exhibition. And it took 1.6 to even give us two skins in the Once first place. Once things are in full swing, not only will there be lots of official and fan created work on display, there will also be. And then be it took four more patches prizes and to get two more parties. skins. This small plaza in front of the International Trade Association will be called the Five Kassen Plaza during the festival. <sighs> and nearby shops will be selling special light novel merchandise. You certainly won't want to miss out. Wow. Um, how should Paimon put this? Uh, like, give us more skins, Mahoyo. Festival, but it sure looks like it'll be quite the party. Because they don't sell as much as they would like them to. Yeah, you want to know the reason why? Because they, they're, they're $30 skins. Have you fucking seen League of Legends? The fucking, like, they don't have a lot of $30 skins. But the $30 skins you get in League change everything. Your combat animation. Your, your like, just, just everything. It does so much. And what do we get? In, 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 in Genshin Gym Pact? Nothing. It changes nothing. It's just an outfit. It's poop. Load of bullshit is what it is. Actual garbage. Dog shit. I'm very I'm I'm very passionate about how bullshit Mahoya skins are. But we still need them. I still fucking want it! Those are Ah, lady, I did mention that there would be some reliable helpers coming to assist with the festivities. Okay, okay, okay. She meant you it's not that they're not all that different Last from normal outfits. Again, Traveler and Paimon. Tell me. It's more that... Faring recently? Uh... The, um... Baba Baba. Yeah, we also do need some male character costumes. Like, Bura. Um... You know, like, the skins would sell for a lot more if they toned down the price by, like, $10. People would pay $20 for a skin and not complain. $30 is where, like, more harder limits are drawn. Like, realistically, they should be, like, $10. They change nothing but the base outfit. They're $10 skins. They're overcharging so hard. Oh, it's Ayato! Wow, so even a busy guy like yourself is here to attend the Iridori Festival! I love how our characters haven't actually met Ayato in lore. Scope of <laughs> $10 Seeing is pushing Lady it? No, I $10 for a skin and is and very fair. Preparations. I'm obliged to be equally dedicated. For a 2D, like for a 2D <laughs> skin, $10 is way too expensive. No, but for a 3D? We're not strangers here. Very There's proud. no need to sound so formal. We were just about to discuss the boards over here. They're related to our little helper's tasks. So I'll let you give them a detailed rundown. Certainly. I assume you two already know that the Iridori Festival originated from the Five Kassen. These five boards are here for Genshin printing Genshin at least puts portions. enough attention in the 3D this models Iridori festival is that it is worth a $10 skin. the major festival to be held in Inazuma since 20 the lifting is pushing of the Sakoku it. 30 is ridiculous. It is also an event deeply rooted in culture and the arts. Therefore, the Ashiro Commission has personally invited I think it's several only like cultural 15 to $20 if you get it on sale, though, when it first comes for example, out. For example... The artist we have but invited to I, paint I these portraits hails from out, the distant land like, of Mondstadt. Afterwards, there's no longer The Ashiro Commission will arrange accommodations and food in Inazuma for each of the distinguished guests. However, we fear that staying in a foreign land may feel a little uncomfortable, which is precisely why it would be ideal to have someone familiar with both Inazuma and other nations of Tevat to serve as a guide for our guests. Our commission is to uh, accept foreigners. I knew you would catch on. I see. It is our hope that you would be able to guide the guests from the harbor to their residence at the International Trade Association while providing any necessary assistance along the way. This arrival schedule you think regional ad pricing is bad? which the guests will be arriving. All you simply have to do oh. is Canada has a 13% tax times. hike increase and they and they force all that tax hike not on the company but on the player base. You have to pay 13% more. As a Canadian player, for for Prima Gems. Hey. 
Good thing about them releasing every six months, though. Just buy Welkins in the meantime, and you can potentially get it for free. Yeah. Or, like, like a very, very low top-up. Hmm. It's settled, then. It's not that bad. My, look at the time. I have to meet with my editors, Still so I must pricey. be going now. During the festival, most of the Yai Publishing House's editors will be staying near the Outlander Affairs Agency. I looked that up, only found a 13% tax on cryptocurrency. Problems, then why the there. fuck is the Canadian this price like 11 to $13 higher? The tri -commission. And there are still many minor details which Literally require make zero my attention. Sense. So I must excuse myself for now. I'll leave the guests Oh, it's extra hands. bad in South America because the, the value of the South American dollar... Uh, 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 South American currencies are much lower. That's the reason why it's a problem. And be sure to pick up the passengers according to the times written on it. It's not that we it's it's not that we're charging them that much more than what, you know, everyone else is costing. It's that the price of living there is uh significantly cheaper. So it's just that much more of an expense. Because Canadian dollar is worth less than USD, I guess. Hmm. According to the arrival schedule, there will be a ship arriving from Mondstadt today. But even so, it would it should still cost like the, the same price. Portrait should be on board. The boat should be arriving soon, so let's head down to the docks. A hundred USD is like hundred thirteen Canadian. Mm -hmm. One hundred thirty nine. That's one hundred forty Canadian dollars. We're paying like an extra like ten to like ten to thirteen to fifteen dollars. It's it's significantly more. It's significant. It's like an extra ten to fifteen percent. Ridiculous. And we'll show you around. <sighs> yes, that's right. We are bards from Mondstadt. One hundred USD is currently one twenty-six Canadian. Bruh. <laughs> changes of late. We hope to Bruh. find inspiration here. These guests are all bards, aren't they? Well, where's Tonya's bard then? That is pain huh. Strange. He's pretty famous in Mondstadt. Do you think he didn't receive an invitation? Hmm. Huh? Why is it is what it is. Oh, Paimon sees what you're getting at. Even though Venti no longer rules over Mondstadt, he's still an archon. If he came rushing to Inazuma at the first mention of a festival, not only would it seem a little childish, it would also sort of be shameless of him too. When we're talking about childish and then we see Klee. Oh, we haven't even met Clean this game. Uh, in, in the alt account, we haven't even met Clean. No, Albedo's the one who received the invitation. I forgot. But because everyone in the Knights of Favonius has been really busy these days, Albedo arranged for someone here to issue me a dependent pass. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. After hearing that Inazuma was making preparations for the Irodori Festival, uh -huh. I predicted that I might run into you here. I haven't even, I haven't technically met Albedo yet either. I have Sucrose standing around the alchemy station still. <laughs> ha! Paimon knew it! Albedo's the one they've invited to paint the five coffin! It seems that you already know why I'm here. Well, have you met Jesus? Oh my god. Just so you're aware. Welcome home, Ikunash. I'll Little be using shit. my pen name in Inazuma. Ah! Calx. Oh, by the way. Let me eat my snack in peace. Do you know what the International Trade Association is? I'll be meeting with the editorial director of the Even for America, Prima Gems are too expensive. Yeah, it's 20 yeah, bucks for a tentpole at max value. You'll be staying in Inazuma. What? We'll be heading there too. Great. Two. Well, let's get going. Then. What do you mean? You are the stack? <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Wah! Ba, ba, ba. 
Ba 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 ba. Also, Equinox. Um, for me, instead of doing the prerequisite quest, I just in the lower left corner hit quick start, and so I didn't have to do the item quest at all. <laughs> I still have. I I, I, <laughs> I haven't even unlocked it. I can't even unlock it. <laughs> Molding right. <laughs> so many things I've never seen before. <laughs> oh. Slow down, Clee. Please be careful not to bump into others. <sighs> Telling Clee so many stories about Inazuma during the trip was probably not the best idea. As a result, she could hardly sleep all the way here. It appears she's even more excited now that we've arrived. Do be how kids are. Strange. It seems that the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama, isn't here yet. I'm certain he said that he'd be sure to arrive before me. This might be you, a problem. You, you made a D's nuts joke, and unironically, I actually got a hankering for my, uh, for my... My, my container of, uh, unsalted mixed nuts from Costco. Home. Oh. It's got cashews, almonds, pistachios, and pecans. So, I'm having a good time. I think they also have some Brazilian nuts mixed in. Well, Mr. Hirayama was supposed to meet with me and give me some reference materials about the five kasen today. That way, I could better visualize the content for my paintings. You mean, you had no idea what you'd be painting before Gotta you arrived to Costco in a bit? Nice. What time? I only know of the five kasen by name. Because of the sheer age of the tale, very little has been passed down to this day. So, Mr. Hirayama decided to help me collect some more information. Think about an hour? I'm the type of painter ah. who can complete a painting quickly, as long as I'm inspired. So, I agreed on only receiving the details today. I just finished the last so of my the veggies today. To and, um, According I finished the, uh, the last plans, of my chicken last night, so I could also stop one at a time by. throughout the various stages of the Irodori Festival. The first one, so depicting I Suiko, Save you some gas. need to be done before the festival's official opening ceremony. Signature look. Which is the day after tomorrow. Of smug hybrid superiority. Gas prices, well. what's that? <laughs> There's no need to panic. When I was working on light novel illustrations, because the manuscripts are shipped by I just boat, hope that Kuki Shinobu is on the yellow banner, me too. Finished at the last minute. Just last Absolute month, fucking to ensure the latest book of A Legend of Sword would be finished for the Irodori Festival, I had to complete the final know, drive a hybrid. the same day I received the <laughs> manuscript. I heard that my illustrations were sent to print as soon as they arrived in Inazuma. I still don't know how well they turned out. Uh, Paimon isn't sure she should feel sympathetic for your working conditions or compliment you on your artistic genius. Of course, I would still prefer to receive any possible reference materials in advance so that I can be better prepared. Oh. Miko did mention something. Oh, right! The editors of the Yai Publishing House will all be around the Outlander Affairs Agency these next few days. Who knows? Maybe Mr. Hirayama's over there, too! Mm. We'll take you over there to see if we can find mm. him, Albedo. Yeah. All right, it's worth a try. <clears throat> oh, clean Kui, jumping! You haven't slept for a while now. Uh, please stay at our residence in the International Trade Association and get some rest. We will be back soon. Okie dokie. Don't worry, Albedo. I'll be on my best behavior. She's so cute. I love her. Must protect. Protect Klee! God. <sighs> this can't be happening. The moment we need to contact Onadera is when he's on special leave. Did you ever have a Karen experience? I, I think Equinox works a little bit in IT. An emergency printing so, uh, well, I say a little bit, but Equinox works in IT. So, high, so, um, even with the emergency prints, it's still I'm like certain that, that it must have happened at Despite some point. Despite everything, we're still lucky that we found out today. If this had happened a few days later, then we'd really be in boiling water. Ugh. Hey, mm -hmm. do you think that suspicious guy they found in the warehouse has anything to do with this? 
Well, the editorial director is on his way over there to investigate the situation as we speak. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but what's going on here? Oh, hey, traveler. Uh, don't worry. It's nothing, <sighs> just an internal issue. That's all. How can I help you? Are you sure about that? I'm looking for the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama. Does anyone know where he is now? Uh, oh. Mr. Hirayama is currently at the warehouse down by the harbor. Oh, hold on a second, Murata. Uh, excuse me, but you must be Calx, the one who was invited to paint the five. Damn it, Rosaria is on the Ayaka rerun. Oh, I hope yes, she was gonna be on Yellen. <laughs> My name is Kuroda. You must be inquiring about information regarding Surprisingly, the alongside Razor I do apologize, and uh, please make yourself comfortable Sucrose, at the International Trade I Association, think? and I will let, let Mister Hirayama uh, know to send you the materials right away. Oh, let me no double check me. it. You guys look super busy, so we can go find him. No, it's Sayu. I just remembered it was a green animal character. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> about that. When you flip uh, the 50-50. Uh, and you land the wrong. Is there something wrong? <laughs> is you land the wrong green the animal four star. <laughs> How did you know? Since you were all aware that Mr. Hirayama needed to send me some supporting materials, that means the editorial director didn't forget about it. What the fuck is Instead, going on over there? Something urgent must have cropped up. To add to that, despite being aware that I am although Calx, it does make a lot more sense still unwilling that Sayu's on Ayaka's banner directly. because you know Inazuma character Inazuma factors, character the only reason you would try to stall me is if something that's also kind of the reason why I'm sword, worried that um, I think I Shinobu might not be on uh, well, uh, Yellen's uh, banner uh, if she's I'm not I'm gonna sorry. be super the sad and upset is just as you said Calx. I'm gonna be so I upset if Shinobu isn't on Yellen's banner someone spotted a suspicious outlander sneaking around inside the Iridori Festival warehouse down by the docks so they promptly alerted the Tenryo Commission. The Tenryo Commission was concerned about potential cargo theft, so they contacted everyone who was renting space in the warehouse. An Umbra. It was then well, that we realized back, that the latest Ooh. copies of A Legend of Sword had suddenly gone missing. Hope everything's going well. Hope everything's what? going goody. The books well. are missing. Shh, not so loud. Any not cracks? only is this book an eagerly anticipated release All I do phase of the is Festival, welcome a cutie but the and the immediate reaction is ooh, ooh, but pay attention to the release shit. party as well. Cool. Motherfucker. Because of the dire I'll go over to your room and beat your ass. Mr. Not Hirayama careful. immediately hurried to the warehouse boy, to determine boy, whether boy. the theft was related to that suspicious outlander. Because I love you, bitch. It would be a great misfortune if a legend of sword would Go over and bully his ass? Oh, it's tempting. And quite a disappointment for Chen as well. Gem if gem Mr. Pack. Hirayama is found at the warehouse at the docks, then I'll go down to see if I can be of any help. Just finished a work call, put my hey. headphones back on. Hey, doing no balls. Sounds like a name from Leland. Needed bully. I'm person wow. is the author of this book. I have not met him personally, but the editor said that he is actually the second son of the Fei Yun Commerce Guild family in Liyue. Hey, that's Jing Chu. Oh, do you know him? Yeah, um... I technically met him once. Whoa, that's a real twist. Th this account only met him during the uh, the with during the uh, but enough about that. the second Gel Lantern Festival. Be upset if he discovers his books are missing. I literally can't do the uh, Jinchu, the regular Jinchu story quest to the until um, I finish the Deluxe story quest, uh, and I'm never gonna finish the Deluxe story quest because now he's in my overworld, just hanging. Um, by his, by his winery. Literally the best place that he could be for me. So, um, I refuse to move him. On principle. <laughs> Fuck that. Look, the alt account will miss out on event primos if it means that I can have my ideal overworld, alright? I've got Sucrose permanently replacing, uh, what's-his-face at the alchemy station. I've got Diluc permanently at the wine. I'm, wor I'm working it's on you. making things Why better. Are you here? All right. I'm here on behalf of the Tenryo Commission, of course. Is that surprising? No, Sara, Paimon wasn't talking about you. So, Tone Death Bard, the suspicious outlander in the warehouse wouldn't happen to be you. God, Lumine is so, like, <coughs> even more <coughs> than Mail Traveler. Yeah. Lumine so just feels so expressionless. The suspicious outlander is. 
Is that why you hate the alchemy station guy? I, I don't hate the alchemy station suspect. guy. I know some other For people do, but I, I could care less. illegal entry as a stowaway are cleared. You were to remain But clearly safe. having sucrose don't instead of uh say it again. instead of him Traveler, is uh, superior. Paimon. Clearly, Do you know obviously. Self-proclaimed bard from Mondstadt. Self-proclaimed bard? You could say we're quite familiar. Uh, listen, Sara. Knowing him, it's safe to say that he wasn't behind the theft. But what's this about being a stowaway? Although he claims to be a special guest, Lumine has the best smug face. Yes. He's failed to present. The more feminine the letter. face, the better the smug. Therefore, we can only suspect That's, that he um, might have the country. That might sound a little over. sexist, but I believe it to be true. Ago, we caught I him in a I, I just maybe it's my personal taste or my personal breaks. opinion, but I think feminine faces make better smugs. That's all there is to it. That's... Fight me. <laughs> if it would help shed any light on the situation, then please. Be my guest. Oh, Fenty! You didn't really come here illegally, did you? Ouch, your words wound me. We've been apart for so long, and the moment we meet again, all I'm greeted with is grilling questions and suspicious glares. I love you. <sighs> Binky, you arrived king. in Inazuma via Lou means annoyed means, face is also so gold. That's why your smug you face is lovely and teasing. You be more understanding, don't you think? Similar means... <laughs> Let's not bring up the past now. <laughs> I merely jest. Fear not, for the person who sent me the invitation is none other than Kami. I love that face so much. <laughs> it's unlikely that someone acquainted with the likes of him would. Now that's Foxy Hell, yeah, baby. Right. But why weren't you on the same ship as the other bards? Well, once I received the invitation letter, I couldn't help but want to come to Inazuma a little early. It was then that I happened upon a cargo ship bound for Inazuma transporting dandelion wine. So, naturally, I decided to set sail with them. Because you wanted some of that dandelion wine. I found the captain to be a kindred spirit, and I was treated to an abundance of fine liquor along the way. Uh, I must have fallen asleep in the cargo crate while carefully comparing the tastes of dandelion wine and Inazuma sake. Translation, I traded favors of my bussy for lots of wine. <laughs> and I passed out drunk. <laughs> and when I woke up, I found myself in this warehouse with a Tenryo Commission General glaring at me from atop the grate. <sighs> Coming from Venti? I, I also just noticed that Venti has a little bit of a slouch. But it still feels a bit... Mm, shameless, childish, both. Excuse me, I'm the owner of the stolen goods from the IA Publishing House, and there are some questions I would like to ask you. Based on what you just said, it seems you've been in the warehouse for some time now. If that's the case, did you happen to hear anything unusual? Twist. Stretch. Actually, I did hear some faint footsteps around me a couple of times, but I didn't consider the sound anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, it's a warehouse. You move things in and out. Mm -hmm. But if you clearly heard something, and why didn't you feel it was unusual? For the How you doing, oh. cutie? Welcome, welcome. I seem to understand now. Huh? What did you notice, Albedo? When it comes to burglars, they are generally associated with prying or rummaging through things. Mm -mm -mm. What Venti means is that he did not hear anything unusual like that. Mm -hmm. As for the sound of footsteps, because this is a warehouse where many goods are coming in and out each day, it is quite normal for people to be walking around. Yeah. I see. But if that's the case, then we're back to square one regarding the stolen books. No, not quite. From the facts <sighs> that have been presented to us, we can draw at least three conclusions now. First, whoever took the novels is not a spur-of-the-moment burglar. Mm. They had their sights in the books from the very beginning. Second, the culprit was very familiar with the warehouse and might even have a key. Mm. And third... There might even be more than one criminal involved. I knew you'd catch on, Traveler. One person couldn't possibly transport so many heavy books in such a short window of time. It must have been a team effort. Mm. It goes without saying that Venti clearly does not match up with our culprits. Yes, I agree with your reasoning. Mr. Hirayama, the Tenryo Commission will continue by investigating the warehouse staff. If you come across any further clues, do you think that they'll delay 2.7 with the lockdown? Yes, understood. Um, 
I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> Doubtful? I suppose I'm free as a bird then. So, one thing to note about 2.7 so is fast. that it's mostly done already. Clear the, theft allegations, the reality is that it's mostly done already. Whether your arrival if anything, Inazuma it might delay 2.8 and or 3.0 depending on how Mahoyo's handling You might let me off the hook. Ah, the way he, the way, the way he sticks his tongue out, so cute, so cute. Uh, yes, the invitation letter. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Uh, I can't seem to remember where I may have put it. Uh, how could you lose something so important? Yeah. Don't be mistaken. I was well aware of how important it was. But I didn't bring any luggage with me, and the letter was too big to fit in my pocket. And of course, so he put it underneath his hat. <laughs> Rip <Strange>. Subaru. <laughs> Though I had a little too much to drink, I know that I kept it in a secure place. So I even recall being most pleased at coming up with a good idea at the time. I would like to believe that 3.0 is after 2.7, because that would mean that they'd get the peak of summer, right? Well. To properly compare but, the taste of uh, line Inazuma and Sake, I had to I'm also gonna I'm also gonna track. remind you that 1.6 I couldn't both hold the invitation had and uh 1.6 was the peak of summer, <laughs> and it was a, it was a summer I beach episode. In just any random place, it could um, be I think it's very likely in which case that uh just like 2.0 Inaz uh, Inazuma, they'll get the tail end of summer <laughs> slash beginning of fall. I don't think it's impossible for there to be a 2.8. I think it's very possible that there's a 2.8. I, I I would rather we get 3.0 though. Personally, I I much rather. Um, I'm curious what would happen if I chose something else because I chose the hat the first time, right? And that's super obvious. Cape is literally impossible. Maybe in a shoe. Huh? That doesn't sound right. The invitation is pretty big, isn't it? And if it's in his shoe, he would feel it Aww. when he's walking. I want swimwear skin for the Inazuma girls. Give me Ito in a Speedo. <laughs> Drinking too much may occasionally render the tongue a little numb, but it's true. It certainly wouldn't affect the feet. Oh, so this gives like extra lines. Oh, you can you get oh you can get a lot of extra lines. What about his cape? Huh? Are you sure? His cape doesn't even have any pockets to put. But hey, a cape with pockets isn't a bad idea. You should try and get it tailored sometime, Venti. Well, people do often claim that capes and the like serve no real purpose other than aesthetics. I suppose a cape with pockets would really turn the tables on that crowd. Hmm. So then his hat. Ah, oh, yes. I remember now. I knew you'd help me find it. I like that getting the answers wrong gives you all those extra lines, but I don't want to get the answers wrong on my first playthrough. This is indeed an But you can't play through the event a second question. time. Now that we've confirmed this guess, they should just let you replay the event story-wise. They should let However, you replay everything story-wise. I would advise without getting any rewards. The they should just let you replay everything. Let no me replay everything. Me. Don't give me we'll rewards. That's fine. Just let me replay it, please. Genshin just needs replayability. It, it has no replayability, and it's. I still remember being salty about Tecto and be like, "Hey, yeah, just just play through the domains again." Like, yeah, then why aren't you fucking doing it, jackass? I'm very sorry that you arrived in only to find You little shit. These are the materials regarding the five cousin. All the information. Like he's not wrong, but also, bruh. <sighs> Let's see here. Ba, I guess it's just as ba, I had suspected. Ba, 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 Monikers ba, such as Suiko and ba, ba, Aoi no Okino aren't the real names of the five Kasen. Though there are are you sure he wasn't being sarcastic? No. The five Kasen, the validity nah, he was dead serious, no which was like the worst part. It was kind of it was kind of weird. Alas, what a shame. But at the very least, we know that most of the stories were written according to a similar style. So there is it, it was, to be fair though, it was pretty early in Genshin's so, like lifetime that he 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 was, he was doing what like content creators to do, some extent, claiming yes. that they're not a shell when they're being a shell. Uh, however, he's I less of a shell now, from my understanding. And... 
But he was he was a, he was a hard the shill the most for Genshin crucial. because oh, he was he was growing so much from it. He's still growing from it. Yeah, it's I'm you know, sorry Genshin's still a pretty popular game. Not as exhaustive but, as yeah. you had hoped. However, it is not possible. It makes sense to, to replay event stories. People who played the game after one point one missed out on the mode official scarab many variations of which was a lot more wise. Yeah, and everyone has a different story in their heart. Like you should be allowed to play through event story, no matter what. And just just don't give us the rewards anymore. It's fine. Like whatever. And Evie, Yahoo. Thank you. Got my first crown of Kakomi. Oh, let's go, baby. Great. Clam Kakomi hits like a fucking truck. There's one more thing I need to ask of everyone. Tomorrow morning, Mr. Gen Yu, the author of A Legend of Sword, will be arriving in Inazuma by Just boat. find out that you lose the equivalent of him, five pounds, 2.2 liters of water, and a sauna for the time fetch. being. Whether the stolen books are that eventually recovered really or not, the publishing house on your body its type. best to ensure that the novel's release is a success. And also, you'll have to drink a lot of water afterwards, and you'll gain a lot of that back. So, I wouldn't, I wouldn't super take sauna mats seriously. I love saunas. Sauna houses are like some of the most Korean things in existence. But a lot of, a, a lot of it's filled with like borderline propaganda. You have my gratitude. Because be it's a business. Then. They want you coming back. They'll make up all sorts well, of health shit just so that you'll come over. Here. Let's go. Why though? Because ah, they need to make money. Daddy, what are you doing if you, if the, if, you if they give you information behind, that'll make you, you think you? that going to a sauna sure, will help your health or help you lose weight, you they'll say it because they'll moment. make money. There's something peculiar. It's almost like I think you should see. world runs on that shit. <laughs> give bussy. Oh shit! Speaking of, isn't he on raid up right now? Should we do some pulls? Do I have, do I have Garakim? Should I just have should I just have Venters on, on both accounts? That'd be kinda cool. When's the last time? Oh, I got right in on rate up. So I'm at 50-50. I'm six, 36, 37, 38 pulls in. Oh, it's not it's not too bad. Let's do some singles. Get some of our bad luck out of the way. Hey, Sack Sword! Poggies! Okay, that's the sign. That's the go. That's the go symbol. We got to we got to refine our Jinchu Sack Sword. This, this is go. This is go. This is go. I repeat, the eagle has left the station. I repeat, the eagle has left the station. <laughs> we try. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> wow. Worthless. Actual dodge. Don't be the only four star of the lot. I swear to God. <laughs> alright, alright. We gotta... We gotta watch out more bad luck. We gotta, we gotta watch out the bad luck. We gotta just, just watch it out. Just watch it out. All right, here we go. You know what? Duck you on Femboy's Cross. No! <laughs> ah, unfortunate. Xiangling, I think we already have C6. Do you have Kazu on any account? I really want him, but I'm poor. Nope. I did uh, I did save up on an alt account originally, and I did get Kazuha and get Freedom Sworn. I won I won 50-50 both times on my uh, on that alt way back when. But uh 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 uh, uh you know Ixne on the information A, but it is no longer with me. I certainly didn't sell it for money. Cause that's illegal. Um but I, I no longer have that account. Ah, okay. Well, there goes all my primos. 
out. It would have been. Ooh, let's get Yunjin. Let's go. I think that's our first Yunjin on this account. So that that's fine. That works out. That works out. Giving this account some options. Hell yeah, baby. Posted on Femboy Cross on spicy memes. Oh my god. What, what is what is unfemboy cross supposed to look like here? Huh? Oh, I fucking swear to God. Delete. 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 Madabus. Single pull for prayers. Nah. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. We're right next to Venti. Well, we, I couldn't ask for a better Thanks, catalyst. Venti. All right. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better catalyst. Indeed. When I awakened to find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. Mm. <laughs> I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth having you take a look at what's written on it. Let me see. Suiko chapter. Wait a minute. Isn't Suiko the name of one of the five Kase? Ah. The story told in this poem roughly boils down to Suiko getting tipsy and letting some poems that were meant for the Shogun get stolen. Ah, this story sounds familiar to my ear. Where have I heard it? Probably happened to you, Seriously? you drunk fucker. It's literally the <laughs> same story you just experienced yesterday. Uh, <laughs> oh. Indeed it is. Adorable little Interesting, shit. Interesting, isn't it? It seems related to the stolen novels. Yes, I concur. The person who left this paper could quite possibly be the criminal. Or even a witness to the theft. Yeah. But why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? That's a, that's a good question. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I, I like the way that, like, this is a most Genshin has, like, a very good tendency Since to tie all its story the beats the together. Day, let us find it's it good. In with good drink good. to keep our thirst at bay. Hey! You just sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? Yes. <laughs> um, let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off. No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink together. It'll be my treat. I wonder if Albedo okay. even knows that Venti is the Archon. I'm very curious. As I mentioned before, I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. And now, it seems I've found my source of inspiration. Albedo, I just if need, I I just need to snap a pic of Venti sleeping. We must be back with the appropriate recompense. <laughs> and Camogale. Case, Yahoo, we'll welcome to the stream. Thursday's dishes. going well. I'm doing goody. Albedo manga artist confirmed. <laughs> One year, oh, the gosh. poet Suiko Ooh, made his way loud. to Tenchu Kaku and presented the Kasen's work Ooh, for the Shogun's loud. perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Why is it so loud? Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. I love the right face in this event. Yeah, it's nice. Wow, you really came through, Albedo. Why was it so loud? The first portrait before the opening ceremony. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. Not only does it harken to the traditional style of Inazuma, but it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as glorious as always. Hell yeah. Hey, King. don't get too full of yourself, Tone Deaf Bard. You were just a model. The person in the artwork isn't actually The art you. style in general in this event okay. is really good. Um, Venti is old enough to be this dude. Venti is older than that dude. <laughs> Albedo, might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? I believe he's referring to the possibility. It could have legitimately been him. Nah. The five Kassen. Nah. According to the reference, he was still an archon. We've only found the first of a total of you, four. You, 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 you think that he could escape? Raiden's notice at that point? That is not happening. <laughs> that certainly is a possibility. Also, 
there are some points regarding the stories of the five Kassen that have left me rather curious. Mm. For example, the reference materials make mention of five legendary figures, yet all the popular stories only consist of four parts. It appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter. Ben is too busy being an alcoholic to be a riot. I'm also I mean, about stories myself. Yes, but also no. He's a bard, which uh, does poetry and songs and other shit, which technically requires him to do do plenty of uh. We need, but just. I guess for him, it's more of an inspiration issue, probably. Okay, I am curious though. Let me open up the volume mixer. We lower that down to about where I had it before, during the cutscene. It's all too quiet now, but if I just turn up the audio of everything else instead. Paimon coming in! Paimon coming in! Is this level okay? Can you hear Paimon? Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, I think I want to turn down sound effect volume a little bit more not a lot just, just a little bit oh. okay all right there we go uh wait for the following day hmm i could do that or i could uh Leave that for tomorrow. Cause uh I need to go shopping for dinner stuff and 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 stuff in a little bit. And it's a good point to call it a stream, I think. Uh venti cutscenes are always mwah, chef's kiss. It's 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 such a good note to leave the night on. <laughs> but thank you guys for stopping by. Mwah. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um I just I had a good time, so I hope you guys had a good time. Mwah. And uh y'all take care. Uh Tomorrow, I don't know, probably more Genshin, because uh, I totally, uh, not, addicted, uh, not addicted, totally, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Can't prove nothing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to see you guys later. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Take care, and mwah, sweet dreams. I love you guys. Bye. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, a frightening stream. Might as well have a little music. Yeah. Also, I I'm, I'm gonna make ten cents off ad revenue. I apologize. I'm gonna run ads. Mwah. I love you guys. Good night. <laughs>